does. It does. A yeah, long time ago, I played a level 20 ranger, and I was a strange biggest ranger. So I had a an like a dwarven axe, like that old dwarven thrower. So what I did was I the DM ruled it. So when I made a range attack, so I threw it. It threw and bounced between a bunch of enemies and came back to me. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Crazy. That was good stuff. Before we do the recap. Um, I'm guessing Rick did the recap last week. I did. All right, who's or uh, not who's, last week, but last session? Whose turn is it now? We are live, by the way. Mike, it was Mike's turn that session, and I guess he wasn't here. If I wasn't here, um, so it means and, and George put down Mike for this one. I did. So that means next week's yours. Wonderful. So Mike is doing this one. Yes. All right. Which is great because he wasn't here. Yes, you saw the recap. You saw the recap. Listen, if you roll, if you scroll up to, to last week's stuff, George put in the chat Mike's turn. Or you mean uh, when we last played three weeks ago? Yeah, yeah. Or, uh, yes. yeah, three weeks ago. Okay, well, I mean, fair is fair. Fair is fair. Well, uh, not, give us our recap, it's Mike. Mostly just, it's not too much. It's mostly we got them. Um, and we got money. Oh shit, Lockwood's here. Yeah. Yes, hello. He's well, waiting. No, oh, hey Lockwood. Yeah, thanks for keeping me waiting there, George. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. I will <laughs> kick you in the butt in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I I I will do violent things. I don't want to hear about it from you. Alright. Mike well, did we lose McNulty? Mike. This bastard was trying to get out of doing the recap. <laughs> Based on what I actually can actually... um, yeah, There's a response right here going on. I oh my god. Um, oh. Yeah. Hey, uh, your connection's a bit yeah. off there, Mike. Yeah, hold on. Let me disconnect first and then see if I can come back in, okay? Close all your other windows. Stop streaming. Okay. I got new internet recently. It was, they didn't have fiber optic in my neighborhood. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, that's good. I'm. I've had I've had a taste of the good stuff and I can't go back. Turn off All Rick right. and Morty. Okay. okay, don't worry, it has been turned off. Can you hear me now? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, good. Okay, so last time on the Annals of Levis, I wasn't here, but that's okay. I did watch. I happened to watch it on uh, on our lovely DM's uh, YouTube page. You can go check that out if you want to. All right. So what happened? So. Basically, the party was kind of in a little bit of a dire straits. Um, they were pretty much almost, pretty much like, you know, pretty much going to be, looks like they were pretty much down for the count here a little bit. Or, I mean, well, more, more or less kind of like basically, you know, they were, you know, they were still, I mean, Arizuramos was pretty much, pretty much had everything going, you know, you know, Worm Killer Day was down. I think um, Pyra was also down, if I remember correctly, or and then it, she got back up. It was a precarious that, situation. It very much was. It looks like it would, you know, um, even with the help of um, even with the help of Amani, um, it still looked like it was a good fire. But somehow, the party managed to pull out a win, and Azuramos was slain, and. They, and of course, um, as lots of things go, uh, the party found lots of lots of loot. Um, and since it was a dragon horde, lots of interesting, you know, ad items, um, you know, and and then as we people were basically saying, hey, we can't, I can't believe we basically defeated an ancient blue dragon. We got to celebrate this. Amani says, well, 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 hold on, we got it. okay. So let's let's tally up everything, divide it among the spoils. I still get half of what's here because that's what we agreed to. And and so now we having we are off to basically off to um, return to where we um, basically return back to um, basically back return to return uh, with our with our spoils and see what happens then. Was there anything I missed? That's about long and short of it, I think. Yeah, I mm -hmm. think that uh, that's probably pretty uh, pretty accurate. Anybody else want to add anything? All right, 
Uh, so what we should do is add that gold and money to our character sheet because we're we're loaded now. Hopefully, everyone's already done that. Yes. And if you scroll up in the Discord, you can see the exact amount in the general channel. Here, I will. Uh, I'll post it again. This is what everyone's share came out to. Yep, there we go. Lots of money. That is a staggering amount of cash, yes. We're going to buy a boat. Each of you has 3,400 pieces of platinum, which is the equivalent of 34,000 pieces of gold. A lot of money. It is, in fact, a lot of money. Brynjar, did you, did you add that to your sheet? Heck yeah, I did. All right. I hey. Plans, so. <laughs> Just making sure. All right. And, uh, Mike, when you leveled up and everything, you added it to your sheet? Uh, yeah. It's already, on, it's already on there. Okay. All right. Very good. Let us turn our attention then. A few days have passed. You have been back in the city of Zambar for a couple of days. You were flown back. By Amani's, um, Amani is not in there. By uh, Amani's brood, members of uh, of her uh, dragon flight. So you've been staying at the uh, at the inn, whose name I can never remember. With uh, Anwar, you've been staying in the city on um, uh, Amani's uh, Amani's tab, basically. But uh, you've had enough time now. You've had enough rest. All of your hit points, everything's back up uh, to full. All your spell slots, etc. Nice. You've uh, you've leveled. Hopefully, everyone remembered to level themselves. Yep. Great. All right. Mm -hmm. We did. So one thing you've noticed, and one thing uh, you've talked to Mosalon about uh, yesterday morning was there's been a lot of new people a lot of new caravans specifically coming into Zambar to do trade and it seems uh, according to Mosalon that uh, people have gotten the word out that they won't be troubled by blue dragons or other marauders that it's uh, pretty much safe now to uh, come out and do business in Zambar and uh, a lot of people have been coming out it's it's almost like a lot of people have suddenly learned that there's a shit ton of money in Zambar now true and uh, they're out there willing to uh, sell it you know sell things to anybody who's got cash uh, so the market now is swelling with uh, all kinds of new traders and people who've brought in exotic goods and all kinds of things looking to uh, find someone to buy their wares. It's even been said, you've overheard people uh, talking. You've heard scuttlebutt, as it were. Um, that there may even be uh, merchants who have interesting magic items that they're looking to, uh, to sell. How convenient. Depending on what it is that you're looking for. So, uh, let's start off with... Uh, well, let's just start off with you guys. Well, what have you been doing for the last couple of days since you've been flown back to Zambar? And most of your money has been put into, like, Zambar's central bank um, just for safekeeping. You know, like when it, when it got flown back? Uh, the ZCB, yes. So, that's where it's set up now. Uh, you, uh, you've learned that the city has an intricate system of bartering with money that you have in the bank. And there's like these little chips that are made of clay that uh, it looks like they've, they're, they're almost like coins. They've been pressed. You can definitely tell because they're all uniform. But they have a series of numerals on there that correlates to your specific accounts there. So, so it's like a... a line of credit essentially kind of kind it's almost or like a, a letter of credit I it's guess. almost like traveler's checks oh if that, oh if wow. that makes sense yeah. <laughs> interesting so 
Uh, yeah, what have you guys uh, been doing since uh, since you got into the city? You, none of you have been to the market yet. You've all been kind of, you know, just relaxing, you know, letting your wounds heal up, that kind of thing. But uh, yeah, what have what have you been spending your time on? Go ahead, Brenyar. Yeah, that's that pretty much says it. Resting, a whole lot of eating, uh, you know, playing with Bert. And, uh, you got money for his college fund now. Exactly, I can send him to a good college in Ivy League. You can send him yeah. to the best Albert College there is. Right. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, just uh, kind of actually enjoying his time. Uh, Bert can look forward to majoring in tearing shit up. <laughs> and then uh, maybe minoring in mauling. Hell yeah. All taking right. And taking names. There we go, yeah. What about uh, what about you, Worm Killer Dav? He can... He can be okay. A well, Worm Killer, um, as soon as he got back, he's partaken in probably lots of drinking, probably hanging out with a lot of belly dancers. Oh, um, hey, hey. Red, right. red, 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 because, you know, he figures, hey, that's kind of what he does if he's like nearly surviving death and figured, hey, you know, every day could be his last kind of thing. So, so I imagine he probably spent doing all that. I imagine, well, uh, I imagine the uh, Worm Killer Dave's like, a, uh, you know, like the tubby guy at the Ren Fair who's like hanging out too much with the belly dancers and is, you know, drinking a lot and going, Opa! Yeah, pretty much, yeah. You know, pretty... right alongside <laughs> like, with him. He's probably spent about maybe at that point. I've been that guy, been... by the way. Just, yeah, just we've, been, we've probably been, we've, we've been like, okay, so we've been back like five days. Uh, no, you've been back for two. Oh, two. Oh, okay. So he's probably only spent like about maybe ten platinum pieces all to total, like to do this little spray, spray or something like that. So he'll probably mark off, take off ten platinum pieces for all. It's about as much money as a commoner might see in a year. Worm killer it's Dave's like, just know, like, yeah, uh, bring me more <laughs> belly dancers. <laughs> so pretty, but <laughs> yeah. Oh, did we lose Mike again? Body. I think he's he's ma mostly Pretty taking much. part in the dwarven national pastime of carousing. Yeah. Or he's, and that's so. I mean, yeah, he's and of course he's saying, you know, he's. I mean, even though he's kind of getting on in years, he's like thinking, I still got a few years left. He still got a few years left. So it's like, all right. And so by this point, he's probably probably he's probably just coming back from you know. A couple, you know, a couple nights in this. He's probably, and you probably see him basically. He probably, in fact, I don't know. No, I don't know if I would necessarily want to be on this. Like, he probably got a couple of, you know, escorted by a couple, like, fine, you know, dancers with him that he's like, as he uh, he's, like, he's spent oh, more, he's now, he's, he spent more than 10 platinum <laughs> then. Yeah. Oh, oh, he probably does. He probably has. Yeah. I probably not. I'd probably, all right, Mike. Uh, if you can, Mike, if you can hear me, we're losing you again. You're you're cutting in and out real bad. He's like, and he goes, and it's okay. Yeah, how how's that? Is that better? Uh, uh, a little bit. It it drops off every now and then. Still. Yeah, I think it's every time I go to my browser that when I do that. When I do that, I'll probably have to. I can stay on here and probably just close out and switch over to another browser that used to do that. And so that would be okay. Yeah, we can hear you so far. Yeah, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm so I'm going to still be on Discord, but I'm going to close I'm going to close my what I the browser I've got and then put on another one. So, okay. so okay. just keep on All, right. All right, go ahead and do that. Yeah. Uh Morgan, let's uh let's hey. hear about what what you've been doing. Uh since Morgan uh, is a recovering alcoholic, he's not going to be taking part in uh, drinking with everyone else. He'll be taking part in another one of his hobbies though. Uh, if it's allowable, he will ask um, our beloved innkeeper, whose name escapes me for the moment, but Anwar. Uh, if he can... Anwar. Anwar, that was it. He will, he will ask Anwar if he could borrow his kitchen and uh, practice some cooking for his friends. Uh, he uh, he agrees to that and says uh, that uh, if you want, uh, he can arrange for you to get some side-by-side uh, uh, some -side time with... Uh, well, with his cook, with the head cook there, who is uh, actually his older sister. Oh, excellent! Yeah, 
and her name yeah, is so Morgan uh, will uh, treat everyone to some lavish and extravagant meals. Her name is Apuna. Apuna. Apuna Matata. Apuna. I'll put that in chat. Apuna. Her name is Apuna. Apuna and Anwar. Yeah. He had a brother too. I don't think his name was mentioned though. We're learning all of the most all of the uh, Anwar lore here. I don't recall, so don't bring it up. <laughs> Fair. Okay. All right, so Morgan's been practicing cooking. Um, what about you? Let's see, uh, Pyre, what have you been doing? The in between, either being in like the bathhouse, like just thawing myself up, or being at the church, praying and doing some helping with any general maintenance. I also donated uh, twenty thousand, uh, not twenty thousand. Two, uh, 20 platinum uh, to the church. Okay, they were very appreciative of that. In fact, wow. give me a religion check. One platinum is a thousand... No. One platinum is ten gold. Yeah. And if a gold is a hundred dollars, you just donated like twenty thousand dollars to the church. You have also uh, earned the favor of Amara and the next time you go to make a attack roll or the next time you go to make um, any kind of saving throw you can have advantage on that roll neat I'm just gonna give my I'm gonna put a little inspiration thing in there yeah that's fine that works the same way mm -hmm. all right I'm doing it because it's the well, the per my religion per Amara, it's the appropriate thing to do. Okay. Spread wealth and spread kindness, so I'm like, again, helping ma a maintenance work with the church, helping anyone out who needs my help at the church, and just being a generally wonderful person as always. Alright. Very as good. As always. Very, very good. And last but not least, I almost said Calamity, but that's, uh, that's not his name anymore. Taj, what have All you right. been up to these last couple of days? So first off, Taj is no longer, you know, wearing the head, the the headscarf anymore, like you know, all the time with the goggles and everything like that. So, George, if you still have that token, I'd like that to be the default one. From all right. Here on out. All right. Hang on just a second. Uh, a heads up on this would have been nice. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, should have, I should have said that. I, I thought about it like, you know, five minutes ago. Like, hey, you know, there's no one to, to hide from. There's no, you know, subtlety required. Um, Taj is just his full Earth Genasi form now. And I'd say <laughs> he's been enjoying bathhouses, you know, um, and basically has started throwing kind of money out to just kind of have everything taken care of for him. He's um He's putting out the he's putting out the in, sugar daddy feelers. Yeah, he's <laughs> constantly in and out of the uh um like pubs and all of that, uh going to eat and everything. He just has, you know, someone who's like um uh there and he says like, Hey, here's five gold, go get me some food, get some and keep the rest for yourself and all that. But Taj has just kind of it just kind of feels like he's not even there anymore as he's just kind of going through the motions through and through like he hasn't talked about like what he's gonna get and all that such for any money or otherwise or that he's just fully in the moment and the moment is just dour the entire time Okay. How uh, how is his mood? Has he has there been like a noticeable change in his mood? I'm trying to find the right term. Dower might not be a hundred percent, but it's kind of just been empty. Oh, hang on, just a second. You guys can hear me, right? Yes, I can hear. Yes, you. I'm uh, being. Oh yeah, we can. I'm being told that uh, there's no audio coming through on Twitch. So let me just check that real quick. 
Oh yeah, you gotta, gotta get that. Okay. Let me think of uh, thesaurus terms for dour. Uh, melancholy. Huh. Well, it sounds like uh, we can be heard on Twitch. Well, let's see. Quite Stern would be another one. Um, mm. Serious. A little um, bit, yep. Gloomy. Uh, morose is another one. Ooh, morose, morose sort of listless. Yeah. Kind of solemn. Yeah, no, uh, I think Solemn. Yep, is Solemn's good. another good one. Oh, yeah. Solemn is good. He's just kind of been the lights out. There's no pep in his step. It's just kind of empty. So Perhaps just... killing uh, Azormos didn't give him the closure he was looking for. There you go. Did what he was planning to do. Right. It's like when you yeah. when you focus on something for so long that once you have it, it's like now what? That's that's exactly where we're at. You've summed it up nicely. Sorry, uh, I'm quiet. I'm I'm checking. I'm trying to check audio again. That's all good. Mm -hmm. We can you know we can vamp for a minute or several. Yeah. No, in oh, fact, no. I would love it if you guys kept talking. That would be super. Yeah, I imagine okay. Morgan is probably making some. Uh, what's what's typical cuisine from around there? Probably like something with lamb, like some kind of braised lamb. Lamb like some like tomahawks kind of maybe. Lamb lamb like some like tomahawks. Ooh, definitely some some euros. Well, I can hear us just fine on Twitch. Hmm. All right, let me uh, let me get back here. Maybe like an eggplant soup. Uh, oh, maybe some coffee cake, since he has the access to coffee. Yeah, I imagine any time anyone goes downstairs, there is probably like a, f a full... Uh, a full course meal available. <laughs> Alright. Okay. We're going to, uh, we're going to trudge along here. Let me uh, finish setting up Taj's new... Uh new token thank you sorry about that that's okay that's okay just a little it's heads a up long time unless like he loses an eye or something so yeah that'd be that would suck <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be a problem technically morgan has both of his eyes it's just one of them doesn't work mm -hmm. i would say despite the token morgan actually doesn't usually wear the eye patch anymore it's an old token but I, let's not get into that right now <laughs> All right, let me copy this onto our Zambar map. And Taj is tinier now, too. No, okay. He's, he's a lot smaller underneath all the ropes. Yeah. He's full it's like of 30 tiny, layers. He's full of tinier men. He's actually a bunch of smaller Genasi in a trench coat. There was a... There was a character whose name I uh, can't remember now. It was on the tick, but it was on like uh, whatever equivalent the tick had to like the JSA, like the old Golden Age oh. heroes from back in the day. And there was a dude mm -hmm. whose superpower was literally that he was like a Russian doll. <laughs> like, like. So you know, he could open up, and there was a smaller version of him that popped out. There were out? smaller yeah. versions of him that popped out, and and that was his battle cry: "I'm full of tinier men." Wow, yeah. that sounds oh, no, it was, terrible it on many levels. Was it Matroshka? Was it? No, that's the. That's no, I can't remember what his name was. It wasn't like it wasn't Russian. It might have no, been the okay. Living Doll or something like that. Also horrifying. Mm. <laughs> um, I see here as I'm messing around with uh, Taj's token on uh, other maps. <clears throat> Uh, that not all of you, I don't want to mention names, have uh, not, uh, in, you know, set your, reset your, uh, your HP back to full. Did I not do that? I if you're, okay. if you're trying to do it on hard mode, I will let you in any, <laughs> any sort of encounter if you want. Yeah, uh, we're doing the no hit challenge. Yeah. All right, so. Oh, yeah, and part is now 55 hit points. Hooray. That's okay. Adult, ancient, ancient dragon breath still takes it out of one hand. As it does most things. As it does most things. I mean, Cal was like level 17, I think, when he got taken out by... 
uh, a it, light. It, be how it, be. How it uh, turns out it hits. It it's a one trick, and it works really, really, really well. I think Cal was the only one that got hit by uh, that um, that blast from. Uh, oh God, what was his name? The blue oh, dragon. Oh, like that demon. One of those demon yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, um, Azuthraxian. That's right, Azuthraxian. That yeah, Azuthraxian yep. hit him, just him with that one bolt for like a hundred points of damage. Mm -hmm. That was Man, pretty fun. I would love to hit y'all like that more often. It's coming soon, I'm <laughs> sure. All right, so uh, it's on the third day. Worm Killer Dave is finally show back up after debauching himself. Uh, in all sorts of ways we won't, <laughs> we won't discuss here in the channel. Um, right. Because it's, yeah. a, it's, a, it's a family show. It's a family show. <laughs> yeah. uh, but Absolutely. he comes staggering back in with uh, two half-dressed floozies, we'll say, um, mm -hmm. who appear to be some sort of dancers um, mm -hmm. that are probably as drunk as he is. Uh, and then they giggle and, you know, he... They kind of say their goodbyes because he's like, okay, thanks for walking me home or whatever. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. And he kind of stumbles in yeah. and, and sees you guys having breakfast down there in the common room in the morning. Oh, finally coming up for air, huh? Oh, I. Um, by the way, what's it? He says, you got any bacon? Uh, nope. It turns out there's no pigs for like several hundred miles. Oh, that's okay. Because I'm a little bit, I mean, um, it's not yeah, so. what I just drank. Yeah, probably okay. since and this is it. since this is Levis's version of like the Middle East, probably not a lot of bacon. Yep. Yeah, probably not. Yeah. <laughs> so I made a frittata though. So he oh, so he basically <laughs> takes his eggs and he so he'll take he'll take some of that and he says, "So, now that you have slain Big Blue, what's next for you fine folks?" No clue. I mean, really. What's and remind me again why you decided to Oh, right. But remind me again why you you decided to go again up against uh, up against uh, um, you know Azuramos in the first place. I mean, not not many of people of your caliber would basically have to do would be you have to do that. I mean, you know, I mean, Fresh business. was there was that just? <laughs> Excuse me. I'll be honest. Until I heard you talk, I wasn't entirely sure. I remember what you looked like, Taj. I thought you might have been someone else staying at this inn. Well, I know that. I know. Well, I, that's. I know that's. I know that's your. I know. I know. Uh, my yeah. friend, I know my friend that that's exactly what you were going after. For. But I need. Well, what about but all the but you for but no offense to you the remaining three. Um, dragon hunting is kind of a dangerous profession. We are lucky that you actually made it out in one piece. And I just was kind of curious exactly. You know. Is this actually a good? Uh, is this? Are you looking to be at this a uh, full-time career? Absolutely fucking not. Hmm. Okay. That so was... You do have some sense left. All right. Well, <laughs> left. <laughs> Let's see. No, but I think you. I think for your for first timer, for some of you first timers, you did have exceptionally well. I mean, you know, we've killed dragons you before. Just not one that big. Oh, I, I yes, I must admit, the, he was big blue was a. Big Lou uh, lived up to his name, um, but I am quite a. But it just seems rather odd that you just decided. I mean, normally we... if you go to. Peep, uh, listen, someone we... who doesn't like us was using Azoramus's brood to make our lives difficult, so we needed him taken off the table. It was an end to a mean. Whatever it was an end to a mean. That's correct. Wait. Yeah, I was about to say. Wait a minute. I don't think that's uh, that's that's correct. Listen, it's oh. been a long day. <laughs> hmm. wait, All wait, right. Wait, wait, wait. So, let me see if I understand. Let me see if I understand this correctly. I mean, you are trying to. This you're saying is there? You're saying someone was there? Or was... Yeah. This uh, this guy Hassan Kazi was uh. He had some kind of deal with his Ormos. His dragons were flying him all across the desert, making trouble. 
Mr. DM would, uh, yeah. Would what? Okay, good. Oh, Lockwood, go ahead. I was, I was just gonna, I was just gonna continue the sentence and say that, yeah, we were just trying to limit his ability to get around so that we could finally track him down and pin him yeah. down. Okay. Now, I was going to say to the DM, uh, would Wormtiller Dave know about Kazi being that he's been around this region for a while? You would that, know about the Kazi family. Okay. Um, that they are a, a, a noble family in the region with a very ancient roots that go way back. Um, okay. Probably not that Hassan Kazi was up to all this bullshit that he's been up to. Mm -hmm. Because it hasn't been really been, you know, something that's been broadcast necessarily. Okay. Yeah, the so, news films haven't broken know, the story but, yet. But he does, but he does know about their like reputation, like the Kazi family, like that they're big, that these are very, very busy. These are well connected. Very. He powerful. would know that they're rich and powerful. And uh, give me a history check. Yeah. Okay. Um, we'll do. Will do. Uh, you would also know that they uh, that the family uh, has. An, you would know that the uh, family also uh, is rumored to have dabbled in necromancy at different points uh, in in history. And so, Worm Killer kind of looks at everybody like with surprise and shock that he like basically like so you went decided to go after an ancient blue dragon in order to get the attention of one of the wealthiest most well connected powerful families in the region well not specifically for that reason but it was the most convenient way to get to Kazi at the moment we didn't really have any other leads Where, and from what I understand we're not done yet Unfortunately not. I mean, from what I know of the situation, he is wanted dead by the, um... By the Sultan. By the Sultan, so, you know. Maybe oh. it's worth talking about what we're going to do next. But, but not over food. around on, uh, on blue dragons, blue dragons, and this was our way of, mm -hmm. of cutting his support now without uh you know their leader i'm sure that they're going to have bigger things to worry about than some you know human matters if now, uh, you thought that sure, big since... dragon was uh was you know killing it was a feat you should hear about the next beast that we were that we're eventually gonna have to take down Ugh, don't remind me that thing's name again naroko and as uh, as you say the name naroko you hear a familiar voice uh, coming into uh, Anwar's, uh, down into the, the main common room where people eat. And he goes, ah, Naroko, you've, you're already talking about it then. Uh, most long. Good morning. Try some morning. Morning. Freshly made. And he looks around. He's like, where's, uh, where's, where's Taj? Is he not with you? Or is he off somewhere? Yeah, yeah, he's, uh, he's off. He had some business. Ah. Well, uh, I'll... I'll point, actually, to Taj, actually, like this. He's just like... You know, Slon, well, I'm uh here. I don't need to hide anymore. I'll and be he... honest, I made that same mistake. And he turns his eyes over uh, at you, Taj, and he goes, "Oh, oh, I'm just I'm used to you looking like a, a desert traveler. Very well. Uh, so, and uh, he comes over to uh, where you're sitting." Uh, Morgan and Taj, you're sitting at the same table. Just narrative. Yep. It works. Yeah. Uh, and he <laughs> spreads out what looks to be a very old scroll. It's written in hieroglyphs. It clearly... It, it's like it's telling a story about where something is. But it, it looks like... You can definitely see that like, there's some sort of city complex... And on another part of the scroll, you see what is clearly uh, 
uh, appears to be people descending into a cavern below this complex. And then, at the bottom of this complex, you see what looks like people being sacrificed to a pool of water where they're being pulled into the pool of water by what appear to be tentacles. And oh, boy. Going this in, is the weirdest greeting card I've ever received, most long. Going into the water, fitted to the walls, are heavy, colossal chains. I think uh, I think I'm starting to understand what I'm looking at. And he uh, he nods at you, Bernard. He goes, "Yes, uh, per the writings uh, on this scroll, it mentions a uh, a creature, a very old creature, old for even its time." And you take that to mean he's talking about this thing, you know, was live back during uh, Chorus the Second's reign, and even then it was extremely old. And he says, uh, "But I know that is one of the artifacts you've been seeking. Yes, through your discussions with Amani, uh, some sort of chains. This uh, this creature that's mentioned in the scroll is called Naroko." Well, we're, we're keeping in mind we're only looking for it because Kazi's looking for it, but I suppose it has any information about where this is. It does, and he uh, he pulls out another map, and with that he brings up a uh, a map of the Heretic Valley, and. He indicates this city all the way out to the west, up in the mountains. Looks like it's uh, at the base of a lake, like a, on a plateau there at the in the valley of these mountains. Does everybody see that? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Bramar? And he says, uh, Deramos, yes, Deramos. See, and this information... You believe it to be reliable? Well, it is. Uh, it is very old information, but uh, I doubt that any more recent information out of Dermos is going to come anytime soon. It is a dead city. I guess that makes sense. We don't. Uh, we don't get a lot of news from that what way. What are the chances we get so lucky that maybe it spended the, you know. It's natural lifespan and it's died at this point. We've never been that lucky in the entirety of our adventure, but hey, first time for everything. You would have to be exceptionally lucky for that warrior. And I just do not believe that uh, that whatever gods are directing you uh, have that in, in the stars for you. Of course not. Why would they? But another thing to consider is uh, the size of the chains themselves. It could yeah, be that, that's going to be a problem. It could be that they have been exaggerated for this art to emphasize their importance and that they are not that large. Well, from what we've heard, the chains, their function is to control this thing. I don't know. So... If the chains are not that large, that means that this thing may be not as big as the drawing appears then either. Well, we do not know that for sure. This thing is large enough to sacrifice people to it. Right. Even if it's not that big, it doesn't mean it's not dangerous. Very cool. I'm more concerned about the fact that it resides in a body of water, and I don't know about you guys, but I need air to breathe. Yeah. Same, brother. Uh, I should be able to man- I could manage something like that. Even still, fighting underwater is not easy either. Anytime you swing Especially a weapon, trying to hit something can't... at a distance. I mean, Especially Taz, your you your firearms are mostly deal fire. Let's let uh, let's let uh, uh, Worm Killer Dave speak. He was trying to ah, talk, say something. So it's also going to be difficult for me because I can't swim. <laughs> yeah, I guess you don't really need that much in uh, out here in Alcarac. Let me just make a quick note of that. 
Should we, put, <laughs> should, we, should we invest in some water wings? It's alright, I've heard dwarves float. <laughs> I, I feel nervous because you know I am a fire genasi. That is also a very good point. <laughs> Let's just not do that. This could be problematic. I can cast uh, water breathing. Maybe there's. I can ritual cast breathing. Yeah. So we can breathe underwater. Woo. I'll have to manage my spells. Well, remember when you ritual cast it, it takes what, 10 minutes? Yeah. Yep. So when we, we see the water, it. we gotta stop, do the ritual, and then head in. Because uh, I'm just gonna say there's five of you. And to do that ritual, because it doesn't have to be done for each person? Nope, it's ten willing creatures. You can see within range. Oh, is really it? Water. Okay, yep. very good. Wow. Enough. Wow. All right. It's good. Woo. Just, you know, you got to be able to be an artificer, a druid, ranger, sorcerer, or a wizard to cast it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, well, good thing we have one of those. Classes have... I don't even know if I have it. I think I do. So, so Brindy, go ahead, Brindy and bring it up. Speak up real quick. Just wondering, uh, an angle that we haven't thought about yet, rather than trying to obtain the chains herself, or, you know, just stopping him from getting them, have we thought about trying to destroy them? We no, unfortunately, magic stuff's have, tough. We were weighing the option, um, Morgan was leading that discussion. Um, in my opinion, I'm unsure on if these items can be destroyed in a way that matters um, either destroying them or throwing them away like you know swimming out into the ocean and dropping into the deepest depths I feel as though that would slow Kazi down but it wouldn't stop, but it wouldn't him, stop him I utilizing these items against him is what's going to keep it going I, in my opinion yeah naturally is there, do we have any more information about this creature? Like, does it? I mean, does it have an intellect? Is it? Can we communicate with it? We uh, haven't heard of anything that would indicate that. But I'm sure if, if people are sacrificing it, it's either an asshole, sentient, or it's. Not. And well, it's probably been locked away for a long time by now. It's probably hungry, angry. Well, we do know that it is a creature that Cordis the Second. Uh, that he commanded, uh, that he held uh, captive with these chains, and had it uh, do his bidding. Maybe that's our play? Try to activate these chains yeah. somehow? No, if we can... We don't necessarily have to fight him, we just have to maybe keep him busy while we get a look at these chains. If we can use them, maybe we can avoid a fight. But suddenly, that's still a long shot. We don't know nearly enough about it. Suddenly in Morgan's head, he's got an image of, uh, you know, Brynjar spreading his arms out and singing like the little... Mothra fairy girl. <laughs> I don't know, Taj, if, if, big if, we got you close enough to look at those chains, do you think you could try and figure out how they work? Yeah, I, I'm sure I could. I, I was able oh, to get like the, that confidence. <laughs> I was able to get the, this robe to work. Well, I've never seen these chains before, but yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> look, I'll figure I can, it out. Yeah, I'll figure it out. Look, I got a really good bonus on my Arcana. All right. All right. Do you think you could do it before Naroko kills us all? I'm not talking like we can do it now. Fulmo was dead when he, we got his robes. He had plenty of time to look at him. In this is with... In, can I do it in six seconds? I'm unsure on that. I need we might be able to buy you 12. <laughs> uh, I don't know about six to 12. But like, a lot of these items require attunement, let alone, you know figure out what they do. Yeah, well, it's a long shot, but it's something to consider if it comes down to it. Yeah. I'll keep it in mind. We don't have that much information right now. Mm. <sighs> well, we know where we're going next. Um, anyone who is looking at the... at what uh, Mosulon has laid out, this ancient scroll that's depicting, you know where this thing is and you know gives hints at what it potentially is um everyone except for pyre because pyre is not from this plane uh can oh. give me a nature check awesome watch this I will make it nature yeah. or arcana i'm bad at both of those uh 
nature or arcana? Yeah. I will do arcana. 29. Jesus. Right. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. You're so yeah. good. All right. Don't think it's gonna be our. It doesn't matter. You're you're not from here, so you can't make it. Yeah, you can't make it because you're not from this plane. You wouldn't really have a frame of reference for. Anyways. For what this thing is. All right. So, um, Brynjar and Taj. Taj, as you're looking at this thing. Um, as you're looking at this picture, and you notice that some. It, it looks like it's 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 got a long line of like either captives or slaves or something that are being fed to this thing. But some of the others in that chamber look like they're maybe part of a cult, or they're organized some other way. Like maybe whatever this thing is has its own servants. And when you start thinking about it that way, it brings up images. Of you, yeah, you start thinking about a creature that you've read about before, uh, yeah. that you've never come across here, but it's, uh, you've read about a creature called an Aboleth. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That, uh, Ooh. that may kind of fit the bill on this, and Brynjar, as you're looking at it, <coughs> you're kind of recalling the same thing, uh, something that you've read about before, heard tale about before, uh, in a tavern while getting busy, um, about uh, about these creatures, these amphibious creatures that uh, have extraordinary powers and can basically enslave living creatures to their will. Oh well, that's terrifying. The uh, an abolith is basically. Are, are we going with the classic lore for them? I don't know. Maybe. 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 Uh, I, I, all I've told you is that you... I, I remember reading I remember reading an old tome that... Was, was, One I mean, second, we guys. ...debate on things, but there was conversations that Aboleths were um, so old. Yeah. They don't, they don't, you know, they don't go into... They're not ageless. I'm sorry, they, they're they ageless. They don't get, like, so old that they die. They're so old that they're actually, you know, from alive when God walked the earth. A God walked planet. Um, a God walked planet. And they uh, are antagonistic to deities. This thing was, uh, this thing was, uh, uh, was, uh, was alive when the old magic was written. Oh, yeah. yeah. To, to quote. Played uh, by Liam Neeson. Yeah, to quote. Uh, uh, why can I not remember the name of that lion? That's Aslan, I think. Aslan. Aslan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't quote the ancient magic quote. to me, witch. I was there when it was written. Yeah, it's too, it's too good for Lion Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Lion Jesus was pretty cool. He was pretty cool. Liam Neeson was a good choice to voice him. He is pretty cool. That I liked it when yeah. he told uh, the little girl that uh, he was good, but he wasn't safe. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Because that was that was trippy. You know, it was That's... like, listen, listen, I'm good. I'm on your side. I'll yep. fight with you, but I'm also still a lion. I am also a lion. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, maybe don't get too close. Mm. Anyway. So yeah, they are old creatures, antagonistic to the gods themselves. They um, are known to be able to compel people into cults with some strange terrible magic. I'm not sure on the proper details of that. Um, be ready for it to try to compel you to service. And how exactly do you want us to be ready for that? Um, I don't know. Do meditation or something before you go in. Think happy thoughts. That kind of stuff. Or really try and think of, hey, I really don't want to be a, a slave to an Eldritch water monster. Like, I, I, any of those will probably be fine. So I vote we just go after Kazi and kill that son of a bitch rather than try and go after him. Yeah, that would monster. be much easier, but unfortunately, yeah. we know exactly where this thing is, and we have no idea where Kazi is. From what we, from what well, I, I thought that was the whole idea of killing your dragon, basically to lure him out. From what I to get his attention. 
Avalis is Kazi and this Avalis, Naroko, very much could get along. So if we if we try to go after Kazi and miss him, then we have to go fight Kazi and maybe an Avalis as well. I'd rather go and fight the Avalis alone. Mm, Kazi was afraid of this thing. He didn't want to fight it unless he had all the other artifacts. Taj, with, uh, with the arcana roll that you made earlier, uh -huh. you would know that while the stories talk about how um, Chorus II, the Black Pharaoh, yeah. um, had this thing, you know, captive in chains and bent it to his will, you, you think that this thing may, it may have been vice versa. This thing may have been making the Black King do his will. That's not. That's something that's uh, that's potential. Yeah, this thing is. Or at least it uh, was exerting some sort of influence over him. This thing could absolutely. Oh, worst case scenario, like it, even an even worst case scenario, it could bend Kazi to its will, and then we have to fight them together. These things are these things are powerful and commanding. I'd be very hesitant. So no, you could just end it there. Is... We'd be hesitant to go in. So basic. So what you're saying is only an utter moron would go over against an abolith and not be persuaded, not be enslaved by it. Is that what you're saying? That's one way to interpret it. What he Where said. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> Or well, we could try to see if we can find a lead on Kazi. We, we know where this thing is. We know it's not going anywhere. Could be worth it to put out some feelers, see if we can't learn something. I mean, the only thing with feelers is, like, you know, who's feeling stuff out there in the desert, in the middle of nowhere? I have been known in my checkered past to associate with people who operate extra-legally. I could... I sort of know the culture a little bit. I could try to see if there's such an element in Zambar here, and maybe find some information that way. Be tough, I'd need some time, but... I don't know, it wouldn't really cost as much. Uh, we're being treated well here. And then maybe we can do something with, um... Like, we need to get back out there. I wonder if we can see if we can get um, Amani to have one of her one of hers fly us out there. If we want to take on Naroko, then I don't know. I feel like we've used up a lot of goodwill with Amani. Oh, it's probably not a good I, idea I to keep. Uh... Vincent to fight an abolith, but well, I... even just asking for another favor, I think we should uh, I... take a little time. Look, we we have and we have coffers. Uh, the side. With king size coffers, I, I'm fine throwing a thousand platinum over there for a ride. And Mosalon just kind of, kind of blinks his <laughs> eyes and and shakes his head and smiles and is like, Yeah, what do you, what, oh. what, what do you think, Mosalon? Do you think Amani would be would be amenable to to negotiation? I I do not want to speak for Amani, but uh, as someone who does speak for Amani on occasion. I would say <laughs> that uh, I, from Amani's standpoint, I believe Amani wishes you good luck, but believes she has done enough for you already. I can't help but agree. You got to know when to uh, when to stop pulling on the chain. She's helped us out a lot, we'll to, more than I think we realize. We'll have to head out there on our own then. Then if we are... Now, if you are talking about just getting uh, transportation out there, I think... I think that may be something that she's willing to accommodate. Yeah. I, I apologize if it came off otherwise. Transportation, you know, a bring us over <laughs> at least to Hashiman, maybe closer to Earth and M if we're if they're not if they're feeling nice. But like just transportation, land, let us hop off and go the rest of the way. Would be fun to use Kazi's trick against them. And he thinks for a moment, and he says, "Let me see if I can uh, negotiate on your behalf uh, with the money for some sort of uh, um, fi some sort of fare to be fixed each time 
uh, you seek some sort of transportation. Would that be amenable to you? It should just be the one. Look, if, if we go out there, if we come back, then we come back as as Peter as Peters. If we don't come back, then you know I'm sure you guys have bigger things to worry about. So it'll probably just be the one and done. I mean, we would be walking back. That's a hell of a walk. Yeah, walking sucks. Walking from that far out uh, from the western mountains would be that would take you over a month, I would think. Maybe we could arrange for them to check in after a couple days, and then if we're still alive, they pick us up. We I have uh, we have Pyre here. We can attack Sending, so we can uh, so she can you know reach out. All right, maybe. Maybe more than one trip is, is, is good. So, all right, let's, let's see if Amani is open to the idea of a fare for a shuttle ride. I'd, I'd appreciate that. Thank you. And he tells you, because Amani has a very busy schedule today. Let me speak with her and see if uh, I can uh, I can speak with uh, her and then see if she wants to uh, meet with you herself. Yeah. Thank you, Mosalon. You are welcome. In the meantime, while you are waiting... I uh, should maybe hit up the market, see if there is uh, anything you can spend that new money on. That's an excellent idea. Uh, could very... you do us a favor? Could you, also before I forget, could you bring this coffee cake to Amani? I've been busy I, cooking, I, baking. I, I will, yes. I... Or you could have it yourself. I just made a lot. Just the other day, Amani was saying, Mosalan, I, do, do you know what I would give for a nice coffee cake? I mean, I never didn't see any on sale here, so I thought I'd make it. I'm, I'm if kidding. you don't want it, that's fine. But I, no, it's I, yours. I will, I will take it to Amani. Well, thanks. I will tell her it is a gift from you. Made with love. I'm not going to tell her that, but I will say uh, you send your sincerest regards. Sure. All right, very well. Uh, I will, um, if everything uh, works out, I will try to find you later in the day or send for you. Much appreciated, Mosalan. All right, have a good one. Likewise. And uh, he scrolls the scroll, or he wraps the scroll back up, and he hands it over to you, Taz, and then uh, you see him depart. What do you guys make of that? I mean, are we really going off to fight another monster after another adventure? We barely made it out by the skin of our ass last time. And Worm Killer is stroking his beard the whole time he goes, well, it's not a dragon, but I must say this presents a unique challenge. Let it be said that Devin Suleiman Cornelius, Lord Colonel O'Rourke of the Moss Hammer Clan, doesn't back down from a fight. And I am very intrigued, even if it cost me my, even if it does what you said, what does it basically can, what, scramble our brains and control our minds and make us do baby, these baby see pink elephants and and hula girls and all sorts of things that would be what's do. but other than that, he says, I mean, granted, we can't go in blind on this thing. Um, we probably should be getting something to make our, to make our, keep our wits about us, so to speak. But how about I? Go ahead. No, I, I just said I, I'm all, I'm all, I'm, I'm, I'm up for, I'm up for this. I mean, this is a unique opera. It's a unique, it's, it's some, it's a unique. For me. Yes, it's a unique way to potentially kill ourselves and lose our personal freedom. Oh, we, but we, let's... We survived the dragon. We survived an ancient dragon. Well, sure survived is a good way to put it. But we don't have to decide now. Why don't we go hit the markets like most long said. Taj. We can... yes. uh, as uh, someone who rolled a 29 on his arcana check earlier, um, putting the pieces together on what this thing might be, uh, there is another possibility. Be a kraken. It could be a kraken. So, an abolith is one thing, as it fits very well with what we got. But, like, based on my knowledge, an abolith would. It wouldn't be a pushover. It'd be a pretty fair fight. But I don't know if an abolith can, on its own, can go toe to toe with, like, say, an adult dragon. Uh, uh, an ancient dragon. Now. If there is one other tentacle monster that does attract cults, why? And it's a kraken. <sighs> now, how yeah, I heard of those. Would a kraken 
be in an oasis in the desert, I have no idea. But they're massive. Enormous. They kill ships. A well, good thing we're not ships, then, right? That's that's you guys' logic going into this, I'm sure. Yeah. Well, there there could be, um, for what, uh, for all you know, uh, Taj, uh, because you know that there are underground reservoirs that uh, that do carry water throughout the desert, just far underground. It's why you can dig wells, for example. Um, uh, are they aquifers or like actual like li like rivers and oceans beneath the? Uh... Oh no, oh no! Uh, you, as someone from the region, know that there are entire rivers and lakes underground, all that feed out back into the sea. Fuck! It could be a kraken. It could be. <sighs> so we can uh, keep. Just keeps getting better and better. Does it? <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. It sounds like it, it's not, I mean, I'm, I'm liking that. I'm liking, I'm liking, I'm liking our chances even better now. No. There's no way that Amani would agree to, to coming, coming with us. There's no way. There's of course no, not. There's no skin. She's, she's got no skin in the game. We're lucky she's helped us out so much so far. Yeah. I'm sure that even, even paying for, you know, riding a dragon is still a a minor slight against them. That's what I was trying to say, but okay. you seem very eager to go after this thing. Why don't we just take a couple days of R and R? We don't have to go chasing him right away. No, we've I... already had a couple days of R and R. I... Yeah, and it's been great. Why don't we keep doing that? It's not. <laughs> we've got a market. We've got all sorts of cool stuff. Yeah, but eventually he's going to win. No. As long as we have those robes, he cannot win. We have the game piece he needs. He will have to come to us eventually. And he's not bringing a Kraken out here. I can be almost certain of that. Logistically, I think that would be beyond even him. Yeah. I do think you're right. It I'm sorry? One more time? Mm-hmm. <laughs> It has to be an obelisk. I don't think there's there, there's no way a cracking could even even going through rivers and such like it eats ships. What are they eating out here? Do they have enough sacrifices out there? In theory, I'm not saying I agree and we should do this. It might have a place it can come here, but it might be able to leave as well. It may not be so tightly chained. Maybe there is a place it can get to in this diagram, but it might be able to head out to the ocean as well. It might not stay here all the time. You think the you think the, the chains of Naroko are more metaphorical? Yeah, they're magical at least, right? <laughs> it's 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 a mortgage and taxes. Oh that's it. Yeah those it's a those legally are binding chains. agreement. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a timeshare here and those are impossible to get out of. When we get the chains of Naroko, yeah, it's just gonna <laughs> lock Kazi down to a timeshare. <laughs> well, fate worse than death. <laughs> Okay, all right. If it's an abolith, I think we're fine. If it's a That's... kraken, I don't think it is. I really don't. But if it so is, getting our brain scrambled is better than going against what seems like sounds like a giant octopus. This uh, this octopus is bigger than you think. Both of those things are terrible, and wanting to go after those things is not a rational. But at least you can eat oct. But at least you can eat oct. You can give it your best shot, but <laughs> look, I, Morgan, I agree with you on that. I don't think I can get up and go over to that chair, let alone, you know, go out and go hunt an abolith right now. Are you alright? Since the ever since is your most, it feels like there's this pressure on me. I don't really know what to do about it. It feels like the DM is making us fight outside of our weight class sometimes. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> the, uh... What's new? Yeah. <laughs> that might be. We can either choose to do six to eight fights for long rest, or <laughs> have to spend everything in our in our big heckin' fight. So it's fair, fair one side or the other. Anyways. 
Let's let's give it two days. What do you think? I think that's at least a reasonable place to start. We'll see what Imani has to say when she can see us. Maybe she'll have an opinion on it. Got it. So not tomorrow, the day after. Well, depending on when Imani wants to see us, I think we could we can accommodate her schedule rather than the other way around. Yeah, we'll accommodate her schedule two days after we see Imani, as long as things go well. Yeah, gives us time to check the markets. I have this uh, lemon meringue pie I'm working on. I can't quite get it right. I'm gonna go shopping. Yeah, hmm. it's, it's, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. I think that sounds. I we need at least equipment if we can. Uh, what the, no matter what we're going to do. Their, yes. Does everyone Does got feel their nice. printed coins for the bank? Brynjolf grabs his top hat and monocle. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's that's a bold look for the desert. <laughs> <laughs> all right so uh you guys are going to the market yeah boy yep all right so uh you make your way to the market anwar says goodbye to you as you're leaving <coughs> mm -hmm. uh, goodbye anwar and apuna and uh the market uh as uh, Mosalan said is way busier than it normally is normally it's pretty busy and there's a lot of people here but it's like there's mm -hmm. been it's almost like uh like refugees have come in from somewhere or something i mean it's like mm -hmm. that crowded right and uh there's twice as many stalls as there normally are of people trying to sell you things uh people trying to sell things just out in the street without stalls you know with like little carts and maybe a, a donkey pulling the cart uh Every now and then you hear somebody uh, catch uh, or almost catch a, a thief, usually a child, trying to steal something. There's a lot of, uh, you know, street rat. Riff rat, rat, street rat. rat. Yeah, yeah. I don't buy that. A <laughs> um, uh, lot, a lot of that going on. So as we're walking around, I think one killer video is they take somebody aside and says, like, so what, you know, as like, Hey, well, what's all the commotion? Like, what's all you know? What's what, you know? What's the festival? What, is there some festival going on that we don't know about, or what's what's um what's the all what's all the economy is what, booming. Yes, yeah. There's a sudden oh, influx of, of money. If money, money, money coming in. Yep. Okay. We should ask a local. I mean, just yeah. All right, what do you guys want to do? And Let's ask a uh, okay. local guard or something, or a stall that we've seen before, someone who's been here for a while. Okay, uh, there, yep. is, there is somebody, somebody that you've uh, bought potions from before. Hang on, Jesse. Hey, uh, what's me... all the commotion in the market today? Let me get an art for that person. Give me a second here. If you can toss Bert on the map. I'm oh, there we go. Wander around with us. Yeah, Wait. letting a, your <laughs> owlbear on the loose in a busy market street is a great yeah. idea. Fine. I think he's got money. I think you've got control over Bert to where you can uh, drag Bert out on the map if you want him there. I don't think I have. Like, wouldn't that be under the like the character stuff? Let me you should be able to just there. drag him from the uh, the sidebar onto the map. Let me look. Yeah, I don't have him up there. No. All right, hang on a second. Okay, I'm going to make a run to the bathroom real quick while we're waiting. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. All right, let me see if I can find this owlbear. I can steal Junie's Albert. <laughs> no, that's a different Albert. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm hmm. Uh, Bert. Hey, Bert. Welcome to the party. Alright. He's gotten a little bigger. <laughs> Alright. We're waiting for uh, Rick to get back at this point. Rick to come back. Oh. Okay. 
probably go right about here, looking around. No one move until uh, Rick comes back. Okay. Okay, right. Let me go move. Moving back. And I don't have control of Bert. Alright. Give me a second. Not a problem. There you go. Yep, good. Cool. Is he over there on the sidebar somewhere and I just couldn't find him? No, I haven't added him in there yet. Oh, okay. I want to find custom armor for Bert the Outlier. I will also say, uh, Brynjar. Mm -hmm. I'm back. Just to give you a heads up. Uh, anytime Bert's out here on a battle map, that makes Bert a target if a fight starts. So, just be aware, okay. because you're not a ranger. If he dies, he's dead. Damn. Like, he's dead dead. Alright, so, Morgan is back. Um, I need everyone to give me a perception check. I have a feeling there's a reason yeah. why you gave me that warning. <laughs> there's you almost always is. Oh, gosh, definitely. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Ignore is that, that. Sorry. Is that for uh, Pyre? It's not. Pyre's got a way bigger one. I saw there was a token uh, token action for it. I was like, oh, I'll click that. It didn't work. There you go. That's Pyre. Alright, so... Taj and Morgan. You guys are the only ones who noticed this. No one else rolled high enough to notice this. In the market, there are several figures that are furtively trying to look like they're not watching you, but every now and then you catch them dead ass staring at you. There are five of them, and they are dressed in dark cloaks. They're wearing uh, what looks to be well made leather armor. But, Morgan, as you go over here to talk to this shopkeeper someone that you've bought potions from before right you see them starting to draw their swords and move towards you i need everyone to roll initiative everyone except morgan and taj are taken unawares in this first round and cannot act you are surprised okay surprise this is not a fun surprise no, this is this is not. And a uh, coffee cake for Amani—that's a fun surprise. Homemade. This is not a fun surprise. All right. Has everyone rolled? Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's see. We have Just Taj, yeah. Morgan, Bryn, Dave, and Pyre. All Does right. Bert need an initiative roll? No, Bert's going to go at the end of your turn. Okay. Uh, if you... I mean, you're going to... If you want... Yeah, I'm going to have to try to figure something out. Yeah, you got to try to figure something out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. So, the first person to go would be Pyre, but Pyre did not notice these figures. Morgan, you are next. You notice them, especially this guy over here who's closest to you, pulling what looks to be a short sword out. You also notice he's got uh, what appears to be like a hand crossbow, but it's kind of mounted on his wrist. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I'm going to you know, be talking with the shopkeeper like, yeah, it's real busy today. Uh, uh, can you excuse me for just a moment? And I'm going to shoot that guy. 
I'm gonna... No sense waiting. We're gonna do Cobra Kai. Strike first, strike fast, no mercy. Alright. I'm gonna bonus action, aim, since I'm already standing here. And I'm gonna shoot him with my force bow. Alright. I'm gonna do the one directly above me. Let's say 17. 17 hits. Go ahead and roll your damage. Nice. All right, that's 15 force damage. I would like to sneak attack. Yep. It's an additional 19 damage, and I'm going to phantom strike as well. Jesus. Yep, so I'm also going to damage Wingus over here. So he's going to take 17 necrotic damage. Ooh, that was great damage. Good God. As uh, the phantom of, uh, we'll say, Ranger Whoa. 4 appears and slashes at him. Morgan's overpowered. Uh, you've given me. You've let him. You've let this go on too long. Now I've. I've. I've ascended. All right. Uh, does, that's does that, my turn. That ends your turn. All right. Worm killer Dave, you were also mm -hmm. taken unaware. You are surprised and cannot yep. act this turn. Next up are yep. our friends. So here's the scary thing about assassins. Anytime they're going up against somebody who has not acted in combat yet, they have advantage on. And if they have advantage on you, or if if they if they hit you using that feature, it is automatically a critical. Yeah. So time to roll high. Yeah, don't get hit. Would have been the time. <laughs> hey, don't worry. We got first blood, so as long as we get last blood, also, we're good. So Just don't die. They're gonna do some consolidation around here. All right. So, Morgan, you have already acted on this round, so the assassin, unfortunately, will not get to use that feature on you. And you're like, yeah, that is unfortunate. For him, yeah. <laughs> All right, so he makes two attacks with his short sword. Or one attack with his short sword and his hand crossbow. He's going to attack you both with his short sword. Yeah, that's probably optimal. All right. 14, I think, misses you. Does not hit. 13 misses you. I am ready for this guy. Notice he rolled a 1 and still got a 13. That's okay. As long as he keeps rolling 1s, we're all good. <laughs> Next up it's okay. Waste is... them on Morgan, actually. <laughs> Next up is this guy who's going to go after Worm Killer Dave. Dave. Mm-hmm. Okay. 17? Uh, 17 does hit. All right. I think he would, they would have advantage as well, right? Uh, yeah, he would have yeah, advantage on this. Let me, uh, let me roll that again. All right. So 17 is fine. Uh, this will... He did hit you, so it will uh, be a critical. Okay. So, why is it not giving me damage? Oh, shit. Hang on. Oh, it's all right. Right, Hold so... on, these swords are blanks. <laughs> 1D, 1d6 plus 4. Actually, uh, since it's critical, it would be 2d6 plus 4. Okay. So, 13 points of damage from the sword strike. Also, okay. I need you to make a DC 17 constitution saving throw. Just okay, alright. Um... DC Constitution saving throw. Okay. I'm gonna have to. Twelve. I'm gonna have to add this on as its own thing. Hang on. I believe I'm gonna assume this is poison and remind uh, him that dwarves have resistance to poison. Dwarves have resistance to poison. Yes. So you would have advantage on that saving throw. Assuming it's poison. Oh yeah, that's right. And you'll only take half the damage of what you take. Yep. All right. Okay. So you and that's did, a natural twenty. Yeah, you did nice. make your saving throw. So mm -hmm. you're only going to take half this damage and then half it again because you're a dwarf. Yep. So that's sixteen. Half would be eight because you made the saving throw, and then you're a dwarf, so four. That's a lot of damage. Yep. Yeah. They rolled really low on that. Yeah. 
So 13 good plus 4 would thing, be 17 has, total. Good thing he's uh, pretty hardy. So. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's a dwarf, and dwarves just are really good against poison. Naturally. Mm -hmm. All right. So next up over here, this guy is going to shank you, Brynjar. 21. Does that hit you, Brynjar? Yes, it does. Damn it, I'm going to have to do the same thing. That's a 2d6 plus 4, because it does count as a critical. Mm -hmm. You take 11 points of damage from the stab wound, and now I need you to make another DC... You're looking for a DC 17. DC 17 constitution saving throw. 19. You only take half the damage of this, which is 76. I think I might actually have poison resistance. I think, hold on, let me look at something real quick. Uh, where the heck is my... Yeah, I have a ring of poison resistance. Okay. There you go. Uh, in that case, you only take... Uh... Half and half again, right? You would take half and half again, so that would be nine, and then half of that would be four. So you take surprise, surprise. 15 points of damage total. Yeah, he was surprised. Okay. This guy didn't roll uh, advantage on you just because anytime he hits you, it's going to be a crit. Although technically, no, makes technically sense. We sh I should be rolling that, uh, that 76 twice. We'll remember that going forward. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you guys got the expired poison. So, this guy is going to try to attack Pyre with his short sword. He will use it with advantage, because Pyre has not gone this turn. Well, why didn't it roll it with advantage? This thing's broken again. Like, I remember that one time I, I had that one stat block that was broken for a little bit. I, did, I remember, yeah. I'm Try hitting to, it with something. I'm going to have to go yeah. in and re-add it. Mm -hmm. All right, so 25, I think, hits you, Pyre. So you're going to take 2d6 plus 4 because it counts as a crit. So that's going to be 8 from the short, from the piercing damage from the short sword. And then that's 14d6 poison damage. All right. So give me a DC 17 constitution saving throw. Hey, roll really good on this. Word of advice. Inspiration I received. Yeah, you, you can use your inspiration. You have the favor of Amara right now. Yeah. All right. Unfortunately, uh, Johan is not here, or else you would have actually made that. All right, so uh, 15 falls short of that. You are going to take... Oh, wait, I'll, I'll uh, use my reaction. All right. Oh, yeah, you're not surprised. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I have my reaction. Aha. Boom. Plus five to the save. All right, so Pyre, you did make your saving throw on that. Thanks to Taj. So you only take uh, 25 plus 8 would be a, a total of 33. Ooh, good save. Probably would have been down. So if you've already taken that 8 off, which it looks like you have, just take uh, 25 off now. Mm -hmm. And remember to take off 3 for Heavy Armor Master. Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. Take 22. There you go. All right. Next up is this guy down here attacking Taj. Taj is not surprised this turn. Not surprised. I don't have my reaction anymore. So he is just attacking normally. Gets a 24, though, which I think hits. Yes. So that's going to no, be... Hold on. Hold on one sec, George. Before you roll damage, I think... The wording of assassin, since he since the assassin goes before Taj, wouldn't that also count as a crit? Oh, that's right. It's not because he's not surprised. It's because he hasn't gone yet in this turn. Sorry, Taj, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that would make sense. All right, so... 
I'm working on my rules law degree. Alright, mm -hmm. so that's uh, 2d6 plus 1. That's going to be 10 from the short sword. And then here comes the 14 d6. What? Okay, no, we're good. Cool. Alright, so 14 d6. Alright, DC 17 Ooh. constitution saving throw. You can do it! You can do it! Oh, hey! Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you only, you only take uh, 27 points of poison damage. Which is still a lot. <laughs> Ow. I'm good. All I'm right. 43. Very good. I don't know why I'm 80 on me still. Next up is Brynjar, who can do nothing because he is surprised this round. And probably a little uh, regretful that he brought Bert along. Right? Alright. I just um, wanted him to have a nice day out in town. Just Brynjar and Bert going to Capital City. Right. Alright. Um, so, that'll end their turn. Next up is Brynjar, who's surprised, and then Taj. Why did my health go back up to 117? No, it's that's your max. You're currently oh, okay. you're, the the first number is 102, which is what you're currently at. You're at 102 out of 117. Are we still in a crowd, or are people parting ways and all that? Um, you're still in a crowd. There's people running this way and that all around you now to avoid the fighting. Um, okay. but yeah, there's still people around you. I'm going if you're looking to drop a fireball, for example, yeah, you're gonna kill innocent people. Yeah. I was... I mean, innocent is really depending on your definition of. I'm know. going to bonus action send part over here. Um, that does provoke an opportunity attack if the assassin wants to do that. Yeah, he's totally gonna do that. All right, so he'll attack Tart with his short sword. Nineteen. Nineteen does it. All right, that's gonna be. That'll just be one d six plus. Well. No, because you weren't surprised, so I'm going to say Tart wasn't either. So, 1d6 plus 1. Alright. Tart takes 6 points of damage from that, and then Tart takes... Can Tart be poisoned? Wait, is he immune to poison damage? I'm confirming that right now. I mean, he is a construct, right? Immune to poison. Yeah. So. He is immune to poison? Immune to poison. Okay. Alright, so he didn't take any of the extra damage from the poison. Hooray! And then that means Taj is now free to roam, so he's gonna go here, 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 and Brynjar's turn. When's Brynjar's turn? Sorry, hold on. Not, I'm not moving not yet. Not for a hot minute. Oh yeah, you. They they all get to move and wiggle and all that still. Whose turn is next? Morgan, you could use advantage. Actually, hey, can I use uh? Hurt's last five feet of movement to move him this way now. Um, yeah, it's still gonna attack. Or if did you want that to be your original course? Yeah, sorry. Uh, well, no, I want it to be. I want it to do this and then that. Oh, you want this guy to attack you? Yes. Okay. I'll say that's fair. Twenty-six. So that's another. Three points of damage on Tart. He takes it. And I'm going to now run this way to give Morgan good advantage. And I will use an action to... I'm going to... Here. I have my tool for this. I'll just use the Robo Stars and throw it at the guy right in front of me. All right. Damn. Four, four, four damage. Uh, bonus action, action, movement. That's it. Enter. All right, this guy, by the way, out of everybody, looks the worst. <laughs> well, because I haven't had a turn yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're at the, we're at the start now, right. round two. Nobody is surprised anymore. Everyone mm -hmm. can act. Pyre, you're up. Pyre, you're up. Yep. I'm can you not hear me? I could not. No. Okay, now. We can hear you now. We can hear you now. Okay. I am... 
I am big mad. But how is everyone looking? I'm fine. I'm not great, but I'm fine. Oh shit, I forgot to roll uh, their uh, sneak attack, because I would have rolled that twice too. Damn it. Oh, uh, <laughs> well. Well, I'm always forgetting something. Complicated That's class, okay. Brooks. Old mate. Yep. Vineyard and. Uh, Matt, I'm fine. How do you look? I'm, I, I, I think I took like five, uh, 10 damage. I'm, I'm good. You took like 15. <laughs> He looks. He, he he looks like he, he's okay. Everyone looks okay, really, for the most part, except for Taj. Taj is taking mm -hmm. the most damage at this point. And I'm still fine. Wait, did I not damage? You did, you but did. Taj looks worse worse off than you. I say just whack somebody. Use your flame blade and start whacking. It's up to you, though. Yes, I want to do that. I want to use my flame blade. Fuck the shit. And I want to attack him. Okay. So, wait, let me turn off advantage. So I use that. And boop. All right, 26 hits for 10 points of damage. Very good. Did you want to do anything else? I'm oh, sorry, yeah. did you not cast yeah, Flame Blade? It the Radiant 5, it's plus 2. Well, if you casted the Flame Blade spell to get that going, then that means you can't cast Healing Word. Oh, then ignore it. Alright, cool. Sorry. That's fine, I'm still good. Yeah, you survived the first turn against Assassins. That's the, that's the worst one. That's the worst turn. Especially when the DM forgets their sneak attack damage. They weren't being very mm -hmm. sneaky. We saw. I, I, lo I looked at the uh, at the at the assassin thing. I'm not sure if you're using the CR8 assassin, but any hit with assassin scores against the surprise creature is a crit. So it's technically not a crit for me because I was looking for pride. But yeah, it's fine. It's fine. We're not doing that though. Oh, did we rule it as such? Yep, but it's fine. You know, uh, I was probably thinking of the uh, the player version of assassinate. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm bulking. I'm bulking. I can take it. <laughs> I have a 14 in con. <laughs> He's been How, eating his Wheaties. Eating the Wheaties. Yep. The Wheaties have been eaten. Take, uh... Take, uh, uh... 17 points back. Deal. I can imagine Taz gets stabbed. like, ah! Oh, wait, it's not that bad. Oh, wait, not that bad. <laughs> 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 All right, Pyre, was that all you wanted to do? That and healing word on uh, Taj? Yes, no? Pyre, is that in your turn? You no. might have to speak up, Kelsey. No healing, just the damage. And that's just it. the damage, that's it. Okay. Ten damage. All right. Next up is Morgan. Hey, that's me. Uh, I'm going to continue uh, my cunning and sophisticated strategy of stabbing the guy in front of me. All right. uh, with Taj there, I would get advantage, I believe. And suddenly, Morgan, you, you see Taj behind you and you worry. You're like, what if Taj is, what if someone slices Taj across his pretty face? That's true. <laughs> he is very handsome. I got to take this guy out before that happens. All right. So 27 does hit. Nice. We're going to eight slashing damage. I would like to sneak attack that guy. All right. 22 more damage. Good Jesus. God. Yeah. You're, well, getting, wait. you're yeah. getting into big boy rogue. But Sneak wait, there's more, because I'm going to yeah. use another charge of Phantom Strike, and I'm going to hit Dingus over there as well. The same one I hit last time is going to take uh, 10 more, or 10 damage, that guy, as a Phantom pops up from the ground and slashes at him, and then disappears. 
All right. Yeah, he had been closing in on Bert like he wanted to attack Bert next. But now he's like looking around like, what the hell was that? Yep. All right. Does that end your turn? Uh, I can do other stuff now. Uh, let's see. But should I do other stuff? That's the question. I can move. Uh, oh, yeah. I'll, I'll try to tell the shopkeepers. Like, oh, you should probably get back. And I will... Yeah, I will move over here. Use my bonus action to disengage. And then move over here. Hey, Taj. Right. How's it going? Hello. Yep, I'll end my turn. All right. Next up is Worm Killer Dave. Okay, so um, Worm Killer Dave burps, and when he does, he's going to basically do uh, Nature's Veil and becomes, which basically makes him, as his bonus action, makes himself invisible. <laughs> so, um, The Phantom Burp. The Phantom Burp, yes. Um, and then, okay, after he does that, he's going to go move back one here. I think this guy can make an opportunity to attack. But it's probably going to be at. I think he already did at a tart, didn't he? Yeah, he yeah. Uh, he doesn't uh, he doesn't have his reaction anymore because of uh, tart. He, did he? Tried, yeah, he tried to attack the turret. Oh, turret even provoked better. Uh, okay. two attacks of opportunity from two. From okay, two so even better. So that means let's see. Perfect. Okay, so that means he's going to go ahead and use his action to do volley. Um, so which means I can tack with my. Bo, this guy, this guy, and this guy, and I think it's going to be one attack on each one of these, um, if I'm reading this correctly. And also, I don't know if I get sharpshooter on all of this as well. Well, let me read through it. Hang on. If I'm correct. in ten feet of a point. Yeah. Well, within ten feet of you, there's at least yeah. three of them. Yeah. So yeah, the distance, right. the distance checks out. Let's see. You make a separate attack roll for separate it. Attack. Yeah, you can you can do sharpshooter on uh, sharpshooter on each attack. That's fine. Yeah, as um, long as I got the word. for it. Yeah, just a quick word. Um, I think I put that on your character sheet as having the um the plus two longbow with the uh, sharpshooter, but just double check the numbers mm -hmm. for me. Yep. Before you yeah. start rolling, um, yeah, just double check it all works out. Okay, because I guess because it would make a plus nine, one d eight, plus fifteen magic item. Okay, yeah, it's already there on there. So let's see. I know so, I, I added it last do... time just because I we had some downtime. Yeah. Just okay. Double check. So first attack. So first attack on. First, so first attack it goes to this guy, and I believe this is an advantage now because I am invisible. Yes, you are invisible. The phantom burp strikes again. Perfect. Okay. So, 26 minus 3. All right. So, I imagine. Let me see. 26. You rolled 17 plus 3 plus 4 plus 2 magic and then minus 3. So, technically, I'd say 23. Uh, it's not, for whatever reason, it's not okay. taking off the, uh, the 3. So, it's, uh, it's taking, it's taking, it's adding the plus 2 and minus, you know, 5, 5. So it's adding it correctly. It's not subtracting two. it correctly. All right, so you uh, got it. Okay. Twenty twenty-three hits though. Okay. What is that? Nineteen. Nineteen. That's nineteen. Yeah. Well, that's the damage he rolled plus the sharpshooter bonus. Okay. Oh, okay. All so right. it's nineteen. So that's total. one. No. It's... Yep. And then this guy. Well, hang on, hang on, because his sharpshooter bonus is a ten. So. Yeah. So it's what, it, what it's showing is that you rolled a two, but you got a plus three for your dex, a plus twelve mod. Wait a minute. I think I put like. Were you drunk hit. when you when you put all this on it? Uh, listen, <laughs> <laughs> I think it was like his his uh his pro proficiency bonus plus the magical bonus plus his dexterity bonus. I think that's correct. Hang on. Yeah, it's uh, his dex is plus five plus his proficiency, which is. Um, should be plus four, plus the item's magicalness, which is plus two. That's why I asked, that's why I said double check. <laughs> yeah. Hang on. Huh. Huh. 
Why can I not find the player character? Oh, here we go. Because I closed him up. That would explain that. All right. Mike's character, Worm Killer Dave. All right. Longbow. Longbow plus two. Dexterity. 1d8. Plus dex. Plus 10. That should be plus 10, not plus 12. All right. Got so. it. Okay. All right. All right. So. That should be okay. So we just have to take off the 2 from that 12. So 17. You did 17 points of damage to this dude. 17. Okay. All right. Uh, then he's going to attack this guy down here. Okay. Let's go with that one. 25 that's gonna be 28 no no excuse me 25 right all right and that's gonna be that's gonna be yep that's gonna be that's uh, gonna be 22 22 okay ignore the sharpshooter because the sharps that ignore that first 10 because the first 10 yeah. is being included into the second number yes you're right okay that's okay all right, and then we're going to go ahead. So that's not 32, it's 22. Right there. 22, and then let's do the next to the last guy right there. Okay, and then one more. And that's going to be, I think that misses, 13? Uh, 13 does not hit. Yep, yeah. okay, that's fine. Now and, remember right, to take off uh, three arrows for that. Yep, I got it. All right. One, two, three. Yep. All that ends my turn. All right, very good. Oh, actually, um, yeah. Now, you nope, see. And that will end my turn. Yep. Let me read uh, on your nature's veil until the start of your next turn. Ooh, that's nice. It's yep. not. It's not like yep. uh, when mm -hmm. you attack. It's it's until the start of your next turn. Okay, very good. That's right. Yep. All right. So this guy is gonna run. Uh, he's gonna run out this way and attack turret. He makes two attacks with his short sword. Oh shit, that's another thing. I was only having them attack once on y'all. I didn't have them attack twice. Son of a, <laughs> oh, son of you a You know, bitch. it's their first day, you know, assassinating. <laughs> they'll get the, they'll get the picture. Used, I haven't used assassins in so long, and there's so much crap they can do. All right. Mm-hmm. 24 hits tart. Yep. 25 hits tart. So that's going to be 1d6 plus 1 twice. And he does not take poison damage. So he takes a total of 9 points of damage. I think he took off one of his plates. I have to fix that, asshole. <laughs> All right. Next up. <laughs> this dude is going to attack Pyre. 26 hits. 22 hits. So, roll these one at a time. Six. You're going to take 11 points from the actual blade, and then we'll see how much you take from the poison. Uh, make two DC 17 saving throws. Constitution saving throws. Alright, so one failed, one hit. So on the first one, you'll take all of this. So you'll take 19, and then from the next one, you'll take half of that. You'll take another 10. Oof, higher. <laughs> Pyre's looking, Pyre's looking bad. It's all right. If you can do this all day. <laughs> Are you subtracting the three? Yeah, remember to uh, to subtract for your three. So add three back. Add yeah. If you got hit one. Technically, then... add six back. Yeah, because that was two hits. Add six back. There you go. All right. Mm -hmm. So this one. 
This one looks like he's about to attack Bert Brignard, but he's he's kind of studying his opponent. Like he doesn't he doesn't know what, exactly what he wants to do to Bert. I want to stare at him so fucking fiercely that if he comes anywhere near <laughs> Bert, he's going to die a terrible, terrible death. Well, that's not on your turn. Uh, you can you can do that on your turn, but not on his. Um, I'm just I'm just giving you a heads up. It looks like he wants to attack Bert. He's going to. Be Listen, Bert's tough. Him. He's. This guy steps in behind you while you're noticing all this and decides to shank you. He attacks you okay. twice. Twenty-one hits. Thirty-one hits. Good uh, so that's going to be. That'll be six points of damage total from the blades. And then give me two DC 17 constitution saving throws. Alright, so you're only going to take half the damage from these. And then half of that. And then half of that, right. So 25 tabbed is 12, tabbed is 6. And the next one is... Eight four, so ten points of damage total from the poison. But he shanks you real good. He shanks you like, like up high, uh, like uh, between the rib. Like he didn't hit a lung, but like he definitely got in your rib meat. And Brynjar pays him zero attention. He gives zero fucks about this guy. Behind him now. All right. Um, I think all the bad guys have gone now. No, this one top right. Yeah, this yeah. one has not gone. One Morgan's been stabbing. Uh, I think he's going to try to return the favor on you, Morgan. What? Yeah, he's going to try to stab you twice with his short sword. 31 hits. Uh, just barely. 27 hits. Also just barely hits me. So, you'll take 10 points of damage combined from the blade. That's not and, so bad. And now give me two DC 17 Constitution saving throws. Oh, that's a little worse. Hey, nope. Uh, let me ask. If I uncanny dodge this, is the poison included in that? Yeah, it would be uh, the damage total from the attack. Gotcha. Um, let's see. Yeah, I will uncanny dodge. We'll say the second one. Okay. So we'll add three back for the regular... And the second one... Oh, that's not it. One sec. That's for the... Uh, and here's the second poison. No, four. All right. All so, right. one full and one half. So... Well, you failed both of those. Yeah, but I'm uncanny dodging the second one. Oh, I gotcha. Okay. Yep. So, 76 for the first one. 27. Owie. And then 25 on the, on the second one. So, halved to 12. Alright, then just a total of 39 points of damage. Yep. How's Morgan looking? Uh, not great. Alright. Um, next up is Brynjar. So, Brynjar, right. you've got some decisions to make. You know that your owlbear is going to be a target if he stays out there longer. But you've also got a guy behind you trying to kill you. And a guy on the other side that looks like he wants to find out what Albert tastes like. Oh God! I I could risk it for the biscuit and try and just kill this guy. Or I'm guessing I could prop maybe take a full action to put Bert in my backpack or into my bag of holding where he might be safe. If you want to uh, take an action, Bert is not going to fit inside your bag of holding. Um, also, even if he could, if he was younger, like if he was just a cub, uh, there's not enough air in there. You can't stow living creatures inside, uh, like extra planar bags like that. So have I just been storing him in my backpack this entire time then? Uh, That's you have been, yeah. He's been kind of on the upper end of like how big you can kind of stuff into your backpack. But, okay. you know, that, uh, the time will come soon when... You know, he he's, no he's no you need to buy a really big backpack. <laughs> so, uh, but if you want to spend your action, like kind of, 
you know, helping him to escape, like, you know, smacking him on the, on the hind, on the hindquarters and, and making him run off while you're menacing this other dude in front of you to try to get his focus on you. I'll let you roll for that. You could pick up Bert and yeet him to safety. Fly, buddy, fly. Is that what you want to do? Uh, or what do you want to do? Well, I'll, just, I, 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 I'll tell you this much. I've telegraphed it. This guy will kill oh. your baby owlbear on the next turn. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm, he will definitely hit I'm your the, baby owlbear. I, well, I'm just weighing the options. of it. Will I be more successful killing him or getting Bert out of here safely? Um, I will say that it doesn't look like you can kill this guy in a round. It doesn't? No. Even with six attacks? Nope. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm, right. I'm well, saying this guy's probably got enough that you're not going to be able to finish him off with six attacks. All right. I will I will use my turn to try and get Bert to... I don't know if he can actually fly or not, but... I'm he cannot fly. Get, the Owlbears cannot fly. Shoo him away to safety. All right, so what you're doing is you're trying to shoo Bert away, but you're trying to get the other guy to focus on you. Correct. So, give me an intimidation check. No oh, shit. All right, so getting Bert out of here is no problem. Bert, okay. you know, you smack Bert on the ass. Bert starts to run off. Bert kind of, he's been around you enough to know when you don't want him involved in something. Right. Um, but Run, you have not intimidated this guy to attack you. Oh, no. As Bert runs off, this guy is going to try to attack Bert with his attack of opportunity. He hits him. I'm going to give Bert... Hang on, let me look up Owlbear stats. I want to give Bert a fighting chance, but I also... We can remove it by. It's not terrible. Alright, so he's a juvenile Owlbear. 59 points, so that would be... I'm going to give him... I'm going to give him 29 hit points. the fate of the dice. Mm -hmm. Alright, so this guy... Let's see. Now his con mod is a plus three, so that's important to remember. Alright, so... What did this guy do? This guy did roll 1d6 plus... What is it? 1d6 plus four. I've been doing plus one on y'all. I've been... God... Eight. He takes eight from the blade. Does Sentinel play anything in there? I mean, I don't know if that takes part before or after the bad guy's attack. When you hit a creature with an opportunity attack, this does not apply. Nope. Next one down. Creatures within your reach provoke opportunity attacks from you, even if they take disengage action before leaving your reach. He has not left your reach. Your reach is ten feet. He is within very, your reach. When a creature within five feet of you makes an attack against a target other than you, uh, you he's, can use... He's more than five feet away. You can use yeah. your reaction. Yeah, he is uh, not within five feet of you. Uh, if he was right here, you could use your reaction to uh, make a attack against him. All right, so uh, he takes eight points of damage from the blade. I'll let you go ahead and take that eight off. And then we'll see how much the poison does. He will get a constitution saving throw. So that's 28. I will roll his... Because we don't have a stat block for him. So I'm just going to roll from the owlbear stats. If I can find them. Here we go. Woo! 
So he only takes half that damage, which is 14. So he's down to 7 hit points. He did not die from that attack of opportunity when he ran off. Thank God. Okay, that was stressful. But A little bit. You gotta I, believe in the heart of the dice, I, I guess. Me I meant for it to be. Mm -hmm. You're the one that wanted him out of here. Alright. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, Brynjar, is there anything else that you... Now, that was your action. Is there anything else you want to do? Um... I'll also say this. It looks like this guy is still focused on your owlbear. Like he wants to kill your owlbear. I'm going to move. And yes, I know I take an attack of opportunity. Go ahead. All right. He will try to shank you. Get to 29. Okay. So you're going to take 8 hit points of damage. And then make your DC 17 constitution saving throw. I remember why I don't use assassins as much. Mm. So you made your saving throw. You're only going to take half that damage, which is 15. Halved again because you have a ring of poison resistance. So that's mm -hmm. 7. Okay. And I'm going to stand right in front of him. Okay. I'm going to stare him in the eyes. He shifts his gaze from Bert to you. And that will end my turn because I don't think I can think. Oh, all right. Very good. Next up is Taj. Alex. Alex. should be dying, please and thank you. Uh, I'm going. How bad is this guy looking here? The one in front of This guy looks, out of all of them, this guy looks the worst. Well, then let's just throw another big damage at him. Fireball, okay, point blank. Stuff at him, but like, you know, I'm waiting for the crowds to clear out a little bit more before I start fireballing. Twenty-five on this guy. All right, this guy looks very bad now. Oh, good. I can finish him off. I think. Are how are people looking? Uh, uh, is there anyone in this cone here? here uh. Oh. Yes, there are still people. There's a, a couple of children, uh, an old woman trying to move as fast as she can, but knowing she she may not be fast enough to not Damn get it. hit by some errant spell. It's she looks, really, she looks really sweet. Someone someone that you know probably makes really nice cinnamon rolls. If only I was playing cow. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will say that all the pedestrians would have would have gotten out of the area by around uh, we'll say around four. that stuff for now. Tark is still in flamethrower mode. That's the default I've been running with, so yep. Just got that. Um, I will instead I got 16 points still. I guess I'll throw in my... I'll do my bonus action blade ward, uh, my racial feature. So I am now uh, resistant to blood and condition damage. Oh, very and, good. Uh, Let's see. You will have to remember that because I swear I'll forget it. Yeah, it's fine. Um, here. I want to be bad. Brynjar needs advantage on attacks. I'm going to go here. Okay. It opens up a possibility of me getting out of his attack, though. But, like, this guy doesn't have anyone next to him, so I, as long as I can survive, we'll be fine. Okay. Cool. Alright, enter. Alright, next up, we're at the start of round three. Pyre, you are up, and you are... You're looking bad, aren't you? I am. I have a solution for all our problems at this point. Um, some of our problems. Not all. But, uh... Just making sure I'm picking the right one. Okay. I think it excludes constructs. 
Most healing spells say that. But yeah, Bert... but he's not a contract. He's a real thing. Oh, he Bert. Made... I thought you said Tart. Uh, oh, my bad. He cannot be healed by that. So, Bert might be able to be, though. That's not right. I... Well, Bert? hang on, hang on, oh, hang on. Yeah, I thought, I thought you said Whoa, Tart. My bad. I'm Let... sorry. I thought, thought, thought I was Let me bad. talk. Shh. Let me talk. Each target regains hit points. It doesn't say it has to be a creature. It doesn't say it has to be a, a humanoid or whatever. It says target. I'm under rule that it does heal target. Interesting. Get Bert. Wait, the look at the last sentence. The spell has no effect on undead or constructs. Wait no, a minute. Not... Hang on. What about Bert? <laughs> oh, yeah. No, never mind. Yeah, Where? it doesn't. Yeah. I thought you were going to heal Turt. Yeah, it doesn't work on Turt. It works on I Bert. I misheard you. Sorry, Kelsey. It works on oh, Bert. Tart, you mean, not Turt. Yeah. But what about Bert? <laughs> Bert, it does. Yeah. It's Bert. Yeah, because Bert. I love him. Yes, Bert will get the uh, Bert will get the healing. So it's a thirty foot cube or something like that. Up to six. I think you can hit everybody. What about Pyre? Doesn't like, Pyre need it? Huge then. Yes, it's thirty foot radius. I measured it out. Uh, Bert is in thirty feet of me. Yes. And so well, is it's the, Morgan. It's a six hey. foot diameter sphere. Yes. I, the whole oh. the whole fight is is in that space. Well, that's pretty big, yeah. So everybody heals. Yeah, bro. it's um everybody, everybody but heals. everybody but Turt. Twenty three, yeah. Twenty three points for you guys. I have an extra plus seven because I healed you guys. Lockwood, you better add twenty three points back onto your. All right. But I needed all those the healing I could get. Bert was more important. I needed to make sure that Bert got it back up to full health. <laughs> yep. I, mean, I had to try like how many people get it and I'm like counting us and I'm like I have one extra one Bert Bert you're gonna be full health and run away alright um, um, that ends my turn because I, I can't attack alright next up is Morgan oh that's me alright I'm gonna shimmy on over here and I will attempt to stab this man you have advantage 28 hits. Hey, nice. Nine slashing damage. Nine points like... of slashing damage is enough to kill him. All right. So I'm going to use my reaction as well. Ooh, there you go. So as he's, uh, I assume he's watching the fight. As he looks away from uh, from Morgan for a moment, he stabs him in the chest with his kopesh, and Morgan is going to steal his soul. Yay. <laughs> Just casually. Oh. Boop. Okay. So as a reaction, when a creature I can see dies within 30 feet, and I see him, and he's right in front of me, uh, yeah, I will steal his soul. Um, rules as written says it's, I have to roll on the trinket table. That seems kind of tedious. Can I just have it be like a small glass gemstone that holds his soul? I mean... Or like a coin or something, rather than roll for a trinket every time. A marble? Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's fine. All right. So Morgan stabs him, and sort of uh, smoke comes out of this guy's mouth and sort of coalesces in Morgan's open hand. And we'll say it has a coin with this guy's face on it. A large coin. Is that a, is that a subclass feature? It is a subclass feature. What the hell have you done to yourself? Uh, <laughs> hey, I can't... <laughs> Listen, uh, I liked the fact that we found those soul gems before because that Morgan studying those figured out how to do that. What is your what is your what is your subclass? It is Phantom from Tasha's. Okay. Jesus. I can summon That's spirits and trap souls. Uh, think, uh, unfortunately, it's busy, so a lot of people th probably don't see this. But, that uh, got dark. That got dark. Yeah. That got dark like that. Uh, pump, yeah, it did. Like that. Yeah. Like that pumped up kick song. Yeah, Morgan's, uh, both of his eyes, even the blind one, flashes, uh, we'll say bright, sinister green for a moment as he steals this man's soul. Oof. He looks, uh, proud of himself for a moment, and then I'll go, and I have, I, I used a little bit of movement, so I'll go, uh, 15, 20, let's see, I'll go 25 and then 30 here. Then with a bonus action... I'm going to stab this guy with my knife. Because I still have more stuff I could do. Okay. If I hit him anyway. Stab! 26. Alright, 26. Uh, that hits. That's 8 piercing damage. Since I didn't use my sneak attack before, I'd like to use it now. So we're going to sneak attack that guy. He takes an extra 22. 
and I'm going to use another charge of Phantom Strike. Bernard, you got all excited about maybe uh, maybe getting an attack, you know, uh, an advantage on this dude, but then Morgan runs over and jumps in your spot. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I, I stabbed him. It's fine. You listen, you have other things to worry about. There's plenty to go around. All all right. Right. So I'm going to stab that guy, and I'm going to Phantom Strike uh, Dingus over here. He's going to take 10 necrotic damage. All right. That's a big turn, but that's everything. Yeah, that was good. All right. Morgan Worm does not have his reaction. Worm killer, you're up. Okay. Um, since he will reappear, uh, because it'll add, it's, it's the beginning of his turn now, um, he will burp himself another uh, Nature's Veil as a bonus action. So he will do that. And then once again, he is going to use Volley um, to strike this guy, this guy, and this guy. So the way it's going to work is... This dude, I'm this gonna go dude, from... and this dude. Dude. Yeah, that's yeah, that's going to be the turn. That's going to be the order of, of his. Okay. Too. All right. So first attack. And again, he's invisible, so advantage. Mm -hmm. All right, 24. So that, that hits. Is... That hits. So seventeen yep. points of damage, and that, and that what? Okay, the for the second guy, for the second guy, twenty-four um, hits. That's also going to be twenty-four. Yes, and that's going to be twenty-one. And then for the third, the last guy, thirteen does not hit. That's also going to be thirteen does not hit him. Hit him. Hmm. Okay. All right. Take three arrows right. off for that. I know. Okay. So let me take off those arrows then. All right. And then what I'm going to do next is, uh, since he is invisible, I'm going to go, I'm going to move right behind this guy. All right. And that will end my turn. All right. Next up is our friends. I think friends is a strong term, but we'll see how our relationship improves during this turn. This one is going to haul off in Bert's direction. Five. What route is he taking? Nope, he, I'm oh. taking an opportunity attack right there. Oh, yep, he's got Sentinel and Polearm Master. All right. Yes, he does. Try, try to hit him, Brynjar. Um, I'm going to do this. That hits him. Six points of damage. I'm re-rolling that because Polar Master. All right. Or not Polar Master. Which one is it? Heavy, art, heavy weapon. weapon. Yeah, great, great weapon. weapon. Nine points of damage. And more importantly, he's reduced to zero speed, I think. That is correct. All right. So, yeah, you stop him in his tracks right here. Um, so the only person he can attack now is Morgan. Too bad he didn't try to go behind Morgan. He could have had advantage on Morgan. But no, he wanted to kill Bert. He wanted to get a a, a slice of that uh, <laughs> that uh, that fatty looking Albert haunch. I think not. Not so, today, good sir. I can imagine you just clothesline him with the halberd. All right. Clears at him menacingly. So he is going to try to hit Morgan. Wait a minute, I'm Morgan. 28 hits, 25 hits. Yeah. So, it's okay. I on Canada. Oh, can't do that. Already used my reaction. You can't do it. Nope. So that's going to be a total of 10 points of damage from the blades. Oh, that's it. And now give me Nothing. your your two Constitution 17 saving throws. Uh, let me read one thing real quick because I believe. If I have a soul on me, I get a bonus to uh, constitution saves. You do? Yes. So I have an extra plus one. So I will roll d20 plus three. Darn. d20 plus three. Oop, that's an 18 for the first one. Mm -hmm. And we'll do that again. 23 for the next one. All right. Wow. Uh, so you'll take half of each one of these. Hey, I might live. So 9 oh, and 12. That's 21 points of damage total. Oh, Morgan's still on his feet. He's looking a little rough. Pretty rough. 
But he's still on his feet. This guy will attack Morgan. Wait a minute. <laughs> 24 hits. Yep. 13 does not. So. This that, will probably take me down. At 24. 10 points of damage from the blade. Yeah. Unless he rolls really bad on this and I roll really good. So roll the uh, <laughs> constitution saving throw. E20 plus a 3. 7. Yeah, not this time. 20 points of damage. Yeah, Morgan's down. Morgan goes down like a sack of taters. And is bleeding out. All right. This guy will attack Pyre. Fourteen misses, twenty-eight hits. So ten points of damage from the blade. You made the Constitution saving throw. So half of this Wolf. damage is eighteen. So you'll take a total of twenty-eight points of damage. Ten for the high. first hit, and then eighteen from the second one. Oh, so now you take eighteen. Is that a roll to maintain flame blade? Oh. I thought, uh, I don't think it is. I think it is. I think it is, but you're probably spending uh, your turn. Wait, healing. wait, sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, it is. In so your 18, total... 18 now. Okay, so I did, took away the ten. I took away the three there. It's two yep. separate yep. roll. Well, no, it's one. It's one roll because it's the same attack. So. Yeah. Let me see. You, 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 you how, many, how many points did you take total? You took 10 Perfect. plus 18. Oh, my, my, sorry, I, again, nauseous. My did, you just all... set, did you just set yourself to 18 now? No, I'm minus 18. Oh, so you were at 36 and you're at 18 yeah. now? Yeah. Okay, cool. I thought you... And then I need to make a constitution saving throw again. Yeah, I'm trying to calculate that. So, so you would it. need um, half the damage. Okay, so you took what? How much damage you took? So I took... 28. From, 28. From the, uh, from the sword. From oh, the you sword. took... Okay. 18 from the thing. The poison. Yes. Alright, so 25. So half of that would be a DC 12. So, yeah. You would okay. lose... You would lose concentration on that. On your flame blade. Not, not my priority this turn. All right. Does that... Uh, or no, wait. Hang on. We've got this guy. This guy's going to turn... Well, no, because he doesn't see Worm Killer, Dave. He's going to attack Turret. Nope. Twenty-five hits, twenty-seven hits. The Turret takes... Sixteen points of damage from the Blades. And then he, can't be poisoned. he cannot be poisoned. That's correct. All right. That'll end their turn because I think that's all of them now because this dude is dead. All right. Brynjar, you're up. Finally. Avenge Morgan. So this is this guy looks the worst of these two, correct? Out of those two, yes. Easily this guy looks the worst. Yeah, this guy is... I mean, he he hit Bert, so he did guy, hit Bert. This guy has to die now. Okay. Right, I softened um, him up for you. So, oh shoot, can I move here to gain advantage? But Morgan is occupying that space, so he I just kick him. Can't. You can't. <laughs> yeah, Morgan. You, you can't. You you can't move. He's well. He's incapacitated, but you can't move on to his spot. Can I bait and switch with him? I don't think I could do that if I'm unconscious, buddy. No, no, he's <laughs> not, right? Yeah, no. Yeah, it's gotta be really. I know you really want advantage. You can't always get advantage. All right, fair You enough. can't always get what you want. I'm sorry. All right, so I'll go ahead and make my first attack. Now, you could, you could move through Taj, who is technically active right now. You can move through your friends and get down here. But then you wouldn't have advantage, you'd just be on the other side. Right, yeah. yeah. Either. 
All right, so that attack misses. Oh, you can bait and switch me and then move. It, it, I, I still can't gain advantage. But it's too late now. No he's, already commit, he's already rolled it. Oh. Right. Does, does a 15 hit? So I didn't say anything. <laughs> All right, so you roll a 10. Um, a 10 does not hit. Correct, and then I rolled a 15. So that was your second attack. A 15 did not hit. All right, I do have a third attack. Oh, that's right. That hits. Okay. There you go. Jesus. <laughs> Wait, wow. hang, on, hang on, hang on. Uh, I did that wrong. Minus 22. There we go. All right, this guy looks bad, Brynjar. All right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use uh, Action Search. Okay. And... We'll go again. All right, twelve does not hit him. Seventeen does hit him. Another twenty-two slashing damage. How do you kill the guy that that, that almost killed Bert? Uh, from head to groin, straight down the middle, split in half. All right. Ooh. He wanted to. And now that he, I still have one more attack left, but I. Oh wait, no, I used my bonus action, so I. No, this is a new turn. Yeah, you yeah, think you still, still, have it. still be part of the same attack. It'd still be well, part of the, the same attack. Well, actually. what I was going to say is because when I reduce somebody to zero, I get to use a bonus action to make another attack. Yeah, you've got With... one attack left, mm. and then you can use your bonus action to make another attack. Well, I'm going to use my bonus attack on this guy real quick. Okay. Because I brought him to zero. Sixteen does not hit him. Six does not hit him. It was a good effort. Imagine you just swinging this thing like helicopter blade that's just flying around with his halberd. Bert, <laughs> Bert came very close to dying. Lockwood is not on his A game right now. And I'm mm -hmm. going to now move and put myself in between this dude and Bert. He's probably trying to avoid hitting civilians and stuff too. You know, let's give him some credit. So he can Maybe. <laughs> All right. Is that in your turn? Does Bert move? Yeah, can Bert go any further? Bert's just kind of, Bert's kind of terrified want, right I now. Kind of Bert out of line of sight. Yeah, kind of crouching here uh, behind a, a merchant's uh, vacated stall, trying to. Okay. He's trying to. He's trying his best to hide, but he's also an owl bear. Right. Okay. I will end my turn. All right. Next up is Taj. Now it's my turn. Brenyar, if you bait and switch me to move me into this space here, then you could go here and get advanced on all your attacks. Okay, for a few seconds. Uh, <laughs> that's true. I didn't think of that. During your turn, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't want to hear you new about that. Dirty meta. It is. It is dirty meta. This is why we do not do turn by committee. I didn't say anything. <laughs> no, no. You were. You were fine. Okay. You, I mean, you kept trying to like, you know, show him with the ruler and everything. I could only do but so that's, much. That's. <laughs> That, that, that's what, that, that's, good. that's the least of, of sins next that, round, I've, next round. that I've seen with that. All right. Campaign who's 2, the, the Tuesday night group is way worse. No, not you. Who's the worst of the enemies? Oh. No. <laughs> wow. Uh, let's see here. Like, who's the worst one? <laughs> my hand. Morgan's dying. <laughs> Morgan is dying. <laughs> Fire will heal you. Out of Fire. all of them, uh, this dude looks the worst, but he does not look that bad off. Okay. Yeah. The three guys that are still up haven't really taken a whole lot of damage. I'll put it that way. Waiting on turn four for everything to clear out. Yeah, that'll be the end literally after your turn right now. Uh, the, there will be enough people cleared out from the market that you don't have to worry about like hitting innocents with your, with your deadly AoE attacks. Star missile on this guy. All right. I spent at the charge and all that. Twenty-two. Okay. And let's see. I assume that uh, Dave is utilizing the advantage here. Ah, uh, we don't. We don't know I what am. Dave's doing yet. Okay. We don't. Yeah, know, we, I, we don't. Can't see me anyway. We don't know what Dave's doing yet because Dave's invisible. Cool. Um. Then I guess I'll 
I didn't get hit last turn. I didn't have to utilize my um, blade ward. So I think I'm good then on bonus actions. So I will just, uh, I'll just keep start there then for now. All right. I guess I'll go here. No, no, I'll go here. Okay. Is that it? Yes. Okay. We're at the start now of round four. Morgan truly is my favorite. <laughs> hey, thanks. I cast the heal mm -hmm. spell, so Morgan just instantaneously gets 70 hit points. Jesus. Wow, that is almost oh, my grief. entire pool of hit points. <laughs> That's and I wow. get He just straight up cast heal. Um, so... Actually, you get 72. I'm sorry. Oh, that's 70. too much. Oh. <laughs> Why are you back up to 26? Uh, because I, per my spell, because I heal him, I get to, uh, per the, can't, uh, the Blessed Healer, I get to regain hit points equal to 2 plus the spell slot. Okay. And my spell slot was 6, so it, it's 8. Okay. You heal for 68 plus 2 plus... Six. Oh, wait, what are you doing? Heal. Yeah. So it's 70 plus 2 to him, then plus 8 for me. Yeah. 68. 68. Not 68. Plus 2. Oh, it's 70 for heal. Alright, my bad. Cool. You're yeah. good. Sorry. Alright, we're all good? Yeah. Alright. Uh, Pyre. I'm like... You better save me. <laughs> All right. Does that end your turn? Yes. Morgan, would you like to spend half your movement to get back up? Uh, I'm going to chill here for... No. Yeah. Let's get back up. Okay. All right. 15 feet of movement. Uh, Morgan kips up like he's Popeye with spinach. Yep. He pops back up. Uh, I'll bait and switch with Tosh. No, that doesn't work. Um, I'm going to bonus action disengage. I'm going to be like, uh, you guys, you guys, you're in the middle of a thing. I don't want to interfere. I'm going to back up here. <laughs> as I'm we, going to, as yeah. we as we mentioned Popeye, as we mentioned uh, Popeye, we must pour one out for uh, Shelley Duvall, who was all of oh, yeah. I remember from uh, that movie, and she yeah. passed away this past week. So pour yep. one out for Shelley Duvall. She was cool. Moment of silence. Mm -hmm. Enough right. moment of violence, because uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to shoot uh, the guy next to Pyre. At normal, I can't use any of my fancy stuff, so let's just see. Nineteen. 19 hits this dude. Nice. So he takes 13 force damage, but I have an ally next to him. So we'll sneak attack. Hiya! 22 extra damage. Damn. Plus my last charge of Phantom Strike. I'm gonna. So that guy takes the sneak attack, and this guy takes an extra 10 necrotic damage. As another uh, sort of roguish person like uh, Morgan, a phantom appears and slices at this guy and then vanishes in the blink of an eye. All right. Very good. Is that in your turn? Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's it. All right. Where were you before? Were you right here? Yeah. Oh, so this could, this dude would get an attack of opportunity on you. I have bonus action disengaged it. Oh, did you? Okay. Yes. All right. Very good. Worm Killer Dave, you're up. Worm Killer Dave. McNulty, Mike. If oh, he's not in the call. Uh, it shows. Oh, he is. He is in the call. It shows he is. He's trying to talk, but we can't. So hear him. his. Okay. Mike, you're cutting you're... in and out. Yeah, there's we a can't... delay. We can't. We can't hear you. Uh, okay, wait a minute. Hold on. There's a delay. Okay. Sounds like a heck there's of a, a delay. Can you hear me now? Like, yeah, yeah we there's can, a we delay. Can... Yeah, we can. Yeah. Hear you now. Here, let me disconnect first, and then get back in. Okay. One more. All right. We'll wait with bated breath to see what Worm Killer Dave does. Okay, yeah, how's that? Yeah, hey, we, just, we, we can hear you. Hear you. Yeah. All right. So, uh, uh, what I'm going to do here is my invisibility drops because it's the start of my turn. Um, I'm going to move Worm Killer. Um, so then I'm going to take out my hand axes um, mm -hmm. and make an attack on this guy uh, first. And I think, let me see, read it. Thing is this um 
Okay. The first time I use the thing that they Okay, so all right, so I'm also mark so here's the so I'm also marking this guy with favorite foe um, when I'm doing this. So it's gonna be advantage on him. So the first attack here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. First one is a oh wait, I don't know that's okay. Why does it have the global minus three? One, I don't know. It's I think so it's probably it. I think I think it's been set up on his sheet on for some all. reason. Like on his like in the guts of the sheet. Let me go in and look. That's weird. I don't remember doing that. Right. Yeah. Alright. Get uh, Mike That's weird. Close okay. your character sheet. Yeah, it shouldn't even Okay. There. Hmm. The suspense builds. Mm hmm. I hope you guys kill someone. I, I could use more souls. Worm Killer Dane's gonna do. I wonder if he's gonna kill some worms. No, it yep. doesn't have a. <laughs> no, the, the guts of the sheet are fine. It doesn't have a. I mean, we just ignore it. It's thankfully separate, but it's. It doesn't weird. have a global modifier. Alright, so. Yeah, it's mm. weird. It's all messed up. I don't know what's going on with the. Because I mean, guess. yeah, because it's counting the sharpshooter thing in there, which shouldn't shouldn't do. Which right. is really bizarre. Okay. And uh, uh, let me see. So that. It doesn't have a negative on here for it though. That's and... the thing. You know what it's doing? It's probably thinking that as it's thinking it's considering that as a thrown weapon, which it's not. I'm not throwing it because I'm using it as a as a. That's probably what's going on with that. Well, so, it's. It, okay. I mean, it's kind of a moot um, point because it's your strength modifier. So yeah. it's it's not technically right. considering it as a uh, ranged weapon. Hmm. Okay. That is still weird. All right. Um. Anyway, so you attack uh, with one of these each. No, don't don't go too into this. Um, we, we yeah. One of them. Alright, so, yep. mm -hmm. alright. Yep. So, 24, but there's no minus 3, it's just 18 plus 2 plus 4, so it's 18 plus, so it's just regular 24. So, go ahead and roll the damage on that one. <laughs> it's we, rolled the sharpshooter. We, we ignore already. the sharpshooter. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. And then the second mm -hmm. one was, uh, was 15, just straight up 15. Uh, so that one hits as well. Go ahead and roll the damage on that second one. Okay. So 16 total on this dude. Okay. And then what I'm going to do now after that is, okay, so it's also one of these, on one of these attacks was actually going to be a, a paper foe. So it's going to be 1d6. So what was that? 1d6. So there's that. So that's an extra two on that one. And then he's also, I think, according to the rules it's written, he also qualifies actually for Colossus Slayer, um, which would take, so he would take another um, 1d8. Post that in channel. I don't know yeah. that it applies okay. to this dude. Okay. Yeah. I think it's if you're attacking someone and they're not at full health, right? Not 100 you oh yeah true okay it is below its hit point maximum so yeah you can deal an extra 1d8 only once, once per turn. once per turn that's nice yep. though yeah go ahead and do it run 1d8 yeah. okay all there right so another one another point of damage. one uh, <laughs> very good all right and then finally with my and then finally with my bonus action i'm going to go ahead and and cast another thing to fade nature fail and make myself a one. yeah okay you just f jump scared this dude. And that... <laughs> he popped up and hit him and then disappeared. Yep. <laughs> yeah, the dwarf's like, or yep. the dude's like, we didn't have any <laughs> intel on disappearing dwarves. <laughs> we had bad intel. <laughs> and then and then that one will turn. All right. Yep. That ends Worm Killer Dave's turn. It is now our friends. This hey, guy. Dude, I do have a question. Okay. 
Are these guys over here just guards just watching us fucking fight? Where? <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Over here. They're uh, they're on their union break. <laughs> I didn't even I didn't even realize these guys were on the map. They're they're left over from uh, when when you guys remember when the city got attacked by Dragonborn. Yeah. Right. So yeah. no, they've gone out. They haven't seen the fight. They've gone back to their duties. Okay. They're All on their right. union so, break. Okay. You know, you, like, they can't do anything. So this guy is going to attack Taj. 13 misses, 30 hits. That'll be 1d6. And then, uh, Taj, go ahead and do your saving throw, DC 17 con save. Taj? Alex? Yep. Okay. Sorry. Con save. All right, so you made your con save. You only take half this damage, which is 15. 21 in total. Yeah. Not terrible, though. All right. Then this guy will attack Pyre. Thirty-one hits, twenty-six Eight. hits. So that's going to be. Die, and then I expected as much. It's fine. You're doing great. Fifteen okay. from the blades. Minus, minus six because of the heavy armor. Yeah. Yeah. So nine total, and then here comes the poison damage. Go ahead and roll your DC seventeen con saves for me. So high. This stuff is no bullshit, dude. Assassins. It hits. Hard. It hits hard. The sacrifice I was making when I saved. Mm -hmm. Uh, twice you've done this on your character. You you don't learn your lesson. No, I don't. Go ahead and make your two DCs. Okay, so. No, I'm not. I'm I'm probably done. Okay, so okay. on the, on the first one, you take yeah, the full damage. All right, so that's twenty five points of damage. We won't roll the second one because you are now, prone, and dying. No. And then we this need dude. Her. Let me see. He's already made both his attacks, though. He, he used both his attacks rolls on Pyre. But he will go ahead and move over here to flank Taj. Alright, and this dude's already gone. This dude's already attacked Taj. This dude attacked Pyre. Alright, we're good. So, Brynjar, you're up. It helps if I unmute my mic. Yeah. Uh, helps a lot. Go ahead and attack this guy here. Okay. We do have advantage, which is nice. Especially if you're using sharpshooter. Or uh, not sharpshooter, but. Uh, sharpshooter. <laughs> great weapon, weapon master. master. Yeah. Got a pistol grip on his halberd. That's a two. I can re roll that. <laughs> That's better. Jeez. All right, so 22 hits, and he does take the full 25 points of damage. Keep it going. 19. 19 We're hits. starting the spin cycle. Okay. Minus another 21 points of slashing damage. Let me check something real quick. Is it this one? I'm going. Wait, can I use? Let me see something. Okay, never mind. Taj is not within five feet of me, right? No. Okay. No, he is not. He is, in fact, ten feet away from you. Right. Is it this one? Nah, that's fine. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and use my last attack. 21. I'm going to go ahead and use Menacing Attack. That allows me to, well, one, since I hit him, 
I can add my superiority die to my attack roll, but then it also frightens it. Okay. Um, it's going to add it to your attack roll? Is it it's my attack roll, or is it my... It, it says the attack's damage roll. Okay, good. I wanted it to add it to my damage roll. Okay. Nice. So, 21, and then... For my superiority die... Another 5. All right, so total of twenty six points of damage. This dude looks bad. And well, now he also needs to make a wisdom saving throw. What is your DC maneuver? 16. DC sixteen. He so is, away. he is now frightened of you. As he should be. As you hit him with that last attack, you let out a vicious roar, like the Northman you are. And yeah, he's a big uh, he's a big Freddy cat of you until the start of your until the end of your next turn. So that's quite a while. Yes, it is. All right. And that will end my turn. All right. <coughs> next up is Taj. Taj, uh, oh. do you see this guy in between you and Brynjar? And Brynjar just hit this dude with his halberd and let out a giant you know, berserker howl on this guy. Yeah. And this this guy pissed himself. <laughs> he shouldn't have tried to target Bert. Let's see. That's, if where, he, we that's where he fucked up. Finish him off. Now I'm curious if I should do this. I don't know if assassins have evasion. I think they do. But it's round four, so that means that everyone's out of there, right? It does. Alright. Well, then, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to move there. I'm going to bonus action have Bert, uh, Tart, move over here. So I'll talk about opportunity on Tart if the guy desires. Yeah, he'll, uh, he'll take that action. So that does hit. Tart takes eight points of damage. Eight takes. All right. So now, I just want to get this cone looking good. There we go. So, flamethrower on these two. I'm only hitting these two guys, right? With this? Uh huh. Correct. And bam. DC 17 deck save for 11 fire to each of them. We'll go top first and the bottom. Sounds good. Top passes, bottom passes. So, neither of them take damage, as they do have evasion. They do have evasion. All right, it's fine. Information is gathered, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see them definitely get out of that way. Um, all right, so, we're at the start. Huh? Bonus action. So, my action means... Let's see. I want to hit both of them. Where... Warner. Let's see. I'm just deciding if I can shatter them. I want to hit them both. Ten foot radius sphere. Stop the center. I'd hit Tart, Tarts, and Morgan. But I'd hit them too, and on a con save, I'm sure their con saves suck. Morgan, how you looking right now? Uh, I'm within uh, 10 health of my maximum. I'm pretty well off after that heal. Okay, I'm going to send Tart 5 feet this way. And I'm going to... Has, has Pyre taken any... Uh... He's on the ground. Pyre's on the ground bleeding out. She's on the ground bleeding. Yeah, I can't do that then. Alright, I'm just going to... Uh... <laughs> I'm just going to... Take the opportunity. I'm gonna bonus action. Take the um, uh, um, blade ward. Nope. Wait. I can't do that. I'm just gonna head on over here. I'm gonna take an opportunity attack. I think. Well, blade ward would be off of you. It only lasts until what the start. Of, it would have gone off at the start of your turn. Bonus action. Oh, so you can't get it up again. Okay. Yes, I can't do that. <laughs> All right. Damn, I can't heal her without taking an opportunity attack. 
and uh, it could do over 40 damage to me if I don't fail to see the con save because it's a short sword plus it's a sneak attack yeah they hit hard yeah, yeah he would definitely get sneak attack on you there because he has a ally right next to you just blast him with something does the fact I do does the fact that he's frightened play anything into it not on it's this no on the attack okay. but because he's not frightened of Taj. He's only bear. frightened of the giant bear man next to him. <laughs> I'm, just trying to, I'm, I'm just trying to do something that isn't, you know, the same thing I've been doing. He, he's scared of the guy that just hit him with a halberd who looks like he's uh, from one of those Dr. Squatch commercials. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just going to take the confirmed kill and star missile the uh, guy who's looking bad. Well, which yeah, I get more kills this, that this way. Yeah. That does, in fact, kill him. He only had seven hit points left. As he dies, I would like to use my reaction. Morgan will reach out his hand and he'll say, You're mine! And I'll rip his soul out. <laughs> so, yeah, this is, this is something Good. new that you guys haven't seen before. Morgan is apparently ripping souls out of people. <laughs> yeah, as he dies, like, black smoke comes out of him and coalesces in Morgan's hand. His eyes glow green for a are moment. Are we sure that? Are we sure that he has a celestial patron at this point? Because uh, we're pretty sure he no. doesn't actually. <laughs> <laughs> she's washed her hands of this. It's like she's your problem now. He's your problem now. All right, we are at the start of round five. Pyre, give me a death saving throw, please. Yeah, sure. Rolling at twenty. Ten. All right, you have one successful death saving throw. Uh, next up is Morgan. Okay. Um, how bad does this guy look? Uh, this guy looks like he's still got some fight left in him. All right. Um, Ren hasn't gotten to him yet. Right. Yeah, right, yeah. But he'll get to move before. I don't think these guys are above trying to kill someone who's down. So I'm going to no, move. No, in fact, this guy looks like he's looking between Taj and Pyre. Like, maybe he wants to finish Pyre off. Five, ten. Can I uh, use my action to drag Pyre away? Um, You can, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to... That will not provoke an attack of opportunity for him on her. Because yep. she is not using her movement. Yeah, I'm going to... Yeah, let's see. I used ten feet of movement already. I'm going to go ahead and, I guess, dash. So you have... To... Okay, you're going to... Well, no, you can't dash because you're going to have to use your action to drag her away. I can dash as a bonus action. Okay, yeah, it's, bonus. That's right, bonus action. action. So you've already used ten feet of movement, so you've got twenty left. So that'll increase you up to forty. But you're dragging somebody, right? So it's like half. So right? it's going to be half. So you can move. You can grab her and move twenty feet away. Yep, I'll go five, ten, fifteen, twenty. I'll have her be, I guess, here or here. Uh, I just yep. imagine him, like Naruto running with <laughs> dragging her. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's just ragdolling behind me. All right, uh, so I can't, as, uh, I can't heal as, her this turn, but as Morgan does that, Taj, uh, this guy moves, shifts his focus from Pyre's body down to you. You got this. I believe in you. All right. Morgan's uh, leaving. Is that uh, That's turn? my movement, action, and bonus action. So that's action economy achieved. Good luck, guys. All you. All right, Dave, you're up. Worm Killer Dave. McNulty, if you're talking, we can't hear you. There may be a delay again. Or he fell asleep with the keyboard. Nah, he That's usually doesn't. Or do not with uh, him, but. Start a turn. He's going. Oh, God. Mike, you're, you're cutting, cutting out. And then he. Oh, my God. Sorry, again. Bro. Okay, one second. All right. Let's see. Um. Here, I gotta do this. I think it may have caught up. Yeah, he's he's cutting it. He's aware, I guess. So he's gonna be back in a moment. There he is. Okay, here I am again. Yeah, we're gonna okay. hear you now. All right. So what I'm gonna do is. Well, there you go. You cut out again. Mike. I'm going to. Since nature just. Don't don't explain. Oh my gosh! Every time I do this, every time I it's, it's don't explain why you're, you're doing things. Just do. Okay. Them. Just tell us what you're doing. Okay. All right, um, Nature Reveal goes back up again. All right. Uh, He's invisible. Does it... The phantom burp strikes again. Yep. 
I so you're invisible. You move it over here. here. So now what? Now I'm going to do um, I'm going to do a volley attack on the two remaining guys. Okay. So do that, and so that means I'm going to. We're going to go this I'm guy first, first, and then so this guy. Start with this guy. All right, start with this guy. That's fine. Yes, that's correct. Okay. All right, let's do it. Okay. So this guy here. Oh no! no. Yeah. Eighteen okay. hits that guy. Yep. All right. Total of twenty-three damage. And then this guy next. Yep. And then, yep. Twenty-two nice. minus three is nineteen. Four. This yeah, you hit this guy. Go ahead and do your damage. Another twenty-three. For another twenty-three. Okay. And then this guy definitely looks worse off. Okay. And those were my turns, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna back up. Well, yeah. You know what? I'll stay there. That's fine. And I'll end my turn. All right. Next up is the bad guys. This guy is going to shift this way and attack Taj. Twenty hits. Cast shield. All right. So twenty hits. You cast shield. Uh, that raises your AC to 24, or no, wait, 23. So the second one misses as well. Yay. Nice. This guy will use his hand crossbow at, or no, he can't, yeah, he'll use his hand crossbow at Taj, because he can't see Worm Killer Dave. Let's see if the, oh. 15 does not hit you, Taj. All right, that'll be their turn because there's only two of them left. Yeah. That is a lot of mileage out of one shield spell. <laughs> uh, Brynjar. <laughs> Brynjar, you're up. Uh, Taj, you're on deck. Be thinking about what you want to do. I'm thinking. All right, Brynjar is going to start swinging at this guy now. All right, you have advantage. Uh, advantage with an eight does not cut it. Gonna take 14 does not hit him. 22 hits him. As you carve a slice of... As you take part of his back strap off <laughs> on his back and then think, maybe you need to make this a recipe for your owlbear. I'm going to go ahead and also use... Oh, sorry, give me just a second. Well, that doesn't really do much. Whatever, I'll use it anyways. So I add a superiority die. Okay. And the next attack roll against the target by an attacker other than me has advantage. If the attack is made before the start of your next turn. Correct. Nice. All right. Very good. Remember, you'll have to remember that because I won't. Well, let's mm -hmm. see. We'll, we'll, put a, we'll, we'll put a little reminder on here. There we go. Okay. Uh, very good. Is that in your turn? Yes, it does. Taj, you're up. All right. Um, I think. Yeah, Therefore, you are. I have a lot of AOE spells, big, you know, multiple damaging stuff, but not so much with just one goon. So. I think I'm just going to do that. So, who's looking worse between these two? This one or this one? The one over there by you and Brynjar. Alright, I'm just going to do another arm soul. I love this item. 24. 24 is enough to kill him. Yay! And guess what? He's mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. We're... Yeah, we're you see, as he dies, uh, he gets smoke comes out of him, and you... I have a feeling you you know what happened there. How far is away is that? Uh, it's exactly at the edge of my range. Okay. What? What, Taj? Is Worm Killer Dave still invisible? Yes. 
Okay, good. Alright, so Tart's gonna go head over here. He doesn't want to hit the buildings. He doesn't want to torch up over here. So he's just gonna go this way, okay? Uh, Alright. So, 15 foot cone of fire breath. That uh, guy. Oh, this hey. guy. This guy uh, takes evasion, he... but he fails. So he takes seven. Half, he takes half of that. Yeah, he takes yeah. half. So, yeah, seven. Okay. All right, very good. Let's start now. Round six. Pyre. Please make me another death saving throw. Go ahead and roll in that 20. 12. All right. All right. Pyre continues to improve. Morgan, you're up. All right. This guy's got a whole boatload of trouble coming hey, his way. Hang on. Hang on. Worm killer Dave. Mike, you're up next. You may want to go ahead and disconnect yes. and reconnect now so that we don't have to worry about that when it's the start of your turn. All right, Morgan, go. All right, um, let's go to end the fight. Pyre is not in danger of immediately dying, so I'm going to use my bonus action to aim, and I'm going to hit that. try and hit uh, the last man standing with my bow. All right. 21. 21 hits. All right, 12 force damage plus sneak attack, 19. Jesus. I hope he stays within 30 feet of me. All right, this guy looks bad. All right, I'll uh, lay one face down card in my turn. I'll get a potion ready, but I can't do anything with it this turn. All right, Worm Killer Dave, you're up. Mike, are you there? Yes, I am. Okay. And, and the Danger Spell drops, so you can take that off because it's a uh, start of my turn. Um, since there's one guy left, I'm going to uh, um, I'm going to go ahead to attack him with my bow. First, um, good choice. Okay, twenty-eight. So that's twenty-eight, twenty-seven, twenty-five. Well, it just no, no, no. Twenty-four, Actually, I think. Excuse me. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's normal. Excuse me. I think yeah. you still hit him. You still hit that's... him. I think. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, so yeah, that does hit. And sixteen. So that's sixteen. This dude is still alive, but he looks awful. Okay. However, favored foe would still come into play because that's part of so because he still gets to take another um, 1d6 on that because it's one per turn. Okay. So 1c slash 6. So that. You gotta put r slash, not r slash r. One slash r. There we go. All right. So All right. Another he, five. Only, he only had two hit points left. And since I have my reaction back, he's mine. <laughs> Four for four, baby. Okay. Four is the maximum Good I can do. Agree. This is how disturbing. Many those, how many of those? Yeah, I was gonna say how many. I can only have up do? to four, but that's the fourth one. Yeah, you're perversely posed. Fuck you're you. You're literally right? like a warlock from uh, Warcraft. Uh, I'm I'm committing war crimes over here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, uh, the last of your enemies is down. Yoink. Uh, Normal C is starting to... Well, I mean, the panic has left the crowd. People are starting to come back uh, around and just kind of looking around at the carnage for the moment. Um, yeah. Yeah. So Pyre is still bleeding out, so we're going to yep. go... Uh, Brynjar, it's your turn. We're still in order because uh, Pyre is still making death saving throws. All right. Five, ten... 15, 20, 25, and I will give her, or I guess, pour a potion of healing to her. Okay. That's your action. Go ahead and roll the potion of healing so we can see how much she gets. Should be down there in the bottom left corner of your screen. 10. Holy crap. Is that the maximum? That All is right. the maximum. Higher, you get hey. 10 hit points back. You're no longer dying, but you are prone. You wake up, you see uh, Brynjar kneeling over you, pouring a potion uh, into your mouth. Hooray. You feel like someone dragged you 20 feet. <laughs> your, your hair is probably all a mess. <laughs> Pyre, do you want to spend half of your movement to get up, or do you want to stay down? Sure, she wants to get up. Yes, get up. All right. Brynjar helps you up to your feet. 
and the rest of you look around. You're alive. Brynjar, suddenly it uh, it occurs to you you're you don't know where Bird is. I will check the last place that I saw him and immediately rush to him. All right. So you go over to check on Bert. Bert looks uh, pretty spooked, but um, you know, otherwise, uh, otherwise healthy. Uh, his wound that he had, his wounds from earlier, have closed up thanks to uh, Pyre's healing spell from earlier. He gets all of the head pats and loving. All right. And he has his look on your face like, As why? he should. He has his look on his face like, why Why did you put me in danger? I, I thought I thought we were pals. No, I'm kidding. He didn't. I thought father <laughs> loved me. <laughs> did I do something? <laughs> did I do something wrong? All right. So, um, it's already 11 o'clock. It's past 11 o'clock. So, yeah. we're, we're going to go ahead and okay. leave here now, and then we will pick up next mm -hmm. time. Alrighty. Okay. Thanks, guys. As Sounds you guys, uh, and you guys can search these bodies and do some shopping around the market, or we'll see. Right. That was a, yeah. that was a pretty okay. good fight for you guys, though. Yeah, it yeah, was a tough was. start, like... but we held out. It was a decent, decent thing, yeah. Some of you... Like uh, some of you, I won't mention names. Warren Killer Dave didn't even get hit. Yeah, I know. Me. Most well, of the fight, I couldn't even see. Probably because him. I was using that, I was exploiting he was slippery. That jail thing like mad. Yeah. <laughs> like, Be slippery. Yeah. Or, yeah. All right, we will. Uh, we'll pick up from there then next time. Yeah. Hopefully, no one asks too many questions about Morgan's uh, new abilities. <laughs> you know, don't worry about it. Oh, I'm sure it'll come up. Oh, my, my. <laughs> All right. It's nothing to worry about. Okay. Our, our friend just started, you know, inhaling souls. It's fine. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Uh, say, good, time okay. I want. say good night to everybody <laughs> in chat. Later. Good night, everybody. Good night, good night guys. Good night, good night everyone.